All right, guys. Let's turn on our audio. <gasps> hello. Uh -oh. Wait. Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is Offbeat Outlaw. Welcome <laughs> to our lovely jubbly stream. We are going to be streaming seven C's, six idiots. I am one of the idiots. I'm your dungeon master for this evening. You may find me on Patreon, TikTok, YouTube, here occasion a, a lot recently. <laughs> And buy the merch. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> uh, and buy the I'm fireball. Pass it fireball. off uh, to Liz. Introduce your character again. What your what the character's name is, their race, how they're feeling, and then plug. Because that's what oh we're my doing. god. Here, hey guys, I'm Liz. I use her pronouns, and I'm playing Satine Bergenfeld. She's a human cleric. Um, super, definitely five ten. That's the most important thing we can talk about today. Um how she's feeling you know she's feeling a little antsy things got a little crazy last episode she killed a whole pirate um and she doesn't know who to trust she's a little con concerned and confused but mostly she's looking for friendship um and i'm at laws claws everywhere um l-o-z-c-l-a-w-s except on twitter where someone took laws claws so i'm at laws claws one on twitter <laughs> did someone really <laughs> yeah <laughs> <What a> bastard <laughs> Uh, pass it off to Marcus. Hi there, I'm Marcus Territory, also known as Dorks Sea Swine, the half-orc paladin. I enjoy two things, fighting and more fighting. Dorks here, he's captain of the ship, he's just here for a great time and lots of booze and punching big monsters in their bigger, bigger faces. I'm Mar at Marcus Territory everywhere, except there's also a duplicate of me on Instagram, but although I'm still territory there, so ka -chow. Ooh, look at you, you guys and your duplicates. So famous. The uncomfortable thing is that the other one on Mark on Instagram is Marcus Territory is your daddy, which is like <laughs> feels like it should be on brand for me, but like they got it first, and I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're more upset that they have it. <laughs> yes. Uh, pass it off to Mash Spudson. Daddy, my name's Pigly. Uh. Remember me from last time, I am a, a barbarian gnome that transforms when he's mad. Mash Spudson on TikTok, YouTube, all that jazz. I think that's all you need to know. You, be, you remember. Uh, Caroline Smash. I'm Caroline Smash. Uh, <laughs> hello. Um, I am playing a gnome. Her name is Bunny. She's mostly a bard, but she's a little bit of druid. And she's going to help her brother. And she's <laughs> trying to be as helpful as she can. <laughs> Even though it's frequently not that helpful. But yeah, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, that seems about as good an introduction as any. Uh, except for the fact that we almost forgot Ballad Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I can't believe I was no he's, bro. He's the How best dress was. For <laughs> almost 10 years, and you do me like this? Yeah. He's so forgettable in his bright blue tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> Go introduce yourself, Ballad Boy. Alright, um, I will be playing the role of Helmsworth Free. A wild mage sorcerer with a pension for gambling and an even bigger pension for finding rare oddities. How am I feeling? I, I'm not dead. I'm not dying on the seas anymore. So like, you know, we good. We're, we're vibing you know, right now. Helmsworth free stocks right now are going up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but with that, I still, we should probably get going on the session isn't that right so yeah but before yeah. we actually wait before we do that if, for those who didn't know <laughs> i had a little bit of a contest with some of my players here uh mash budson did not participate until too late <laughs> because i was too lazy to look at his thing that he just posted but he lost anyway mass wait what, out. what oh were we doing the likes thing i i guess <laughs> i we thought were. we gave like, up on that so i didn't <laughs> you know, in i i, I inherently know, gave up <laughs> i didn't know we were doing that uh a few people <laughs> they tried Okay, I need to turn down this my my gain, turn up my volume. Uh so uh so I after doing some math to adjust, I did I actually did some hardcore math to to oh make it fair. Um to adjust for everyone's potential reach. 
Laws, you came in. Uh, so Caroline, you came in third place. Sadly, big wow, sad. Oh yeah, F in the chat. <laughs> so no Pokemon cards for you. Um, Dork, you came second. You were pretty close. Actually, I came in fourth. So you beat me, Caroline. You beat um, me as well. And Laws, you did in fact come in first after my math. So congratulations, you will be getting a minor gift this episode whatever that means and i came in last place you came and did not participate with mass spudson <laughs> oh man and now no everyone because i'm super just 510 she's very 510 she is 510 on a good day so that is 510 for with sure this. except she's not she's 51 Zero. This is an important difference. Zero. She's fucking massive. She's a giant. She's a behemoth. That Snorlax in the background is an actual Snorlax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snorlax for scale. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is already hor This is already so derailed. Let's get going. Time to be crisp. <laughs> So, when we last left off on the session, you guys had all gone to bed. You had all gone to bed to take a nap-nap after you had met with somewhat, something of a storm angel. A harbinger. Uh, a man in completely enwreathed and created by lightning. Had came down from the skies to greet you and offer you passage through the confronting storm to the island. Uh, and so, he said you guys should all sleep on this. Come back tomorrow with your answer. It is morning. Everybody, make a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, I love First thing dice. in the morning. Oh, good I morning, sunshine. Roll so high. Ah, oh, no. Good morning, sunshine. Roll for initiative. Roll for initiative. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What'd you roll, Satine? I, I don't have my image a ready. 10. All right. Uh, uh Dork. 20, yeah. Uh, Ooh, this is actually not too bad. Uh, I got Caroline, a 20. Uh, Bunny? Okay, Helms with God of 20. Bunny? <laughs> six. Six? <laughs> All right, Piggly, also a six. Get? Six? Okay, Piggly? 16. Half our party is already dead. We're okay. five minutes into the session. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you, what you guys are rolling was who wakes up first. Helmsworth wakes up first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Another great day to be the luckiest man on earth. <laughs> <laughs> Helmsworth, you wake up. Uh... You feel a lot better sleeping in, uh, just despite them being relatively uncomfortable army barracks, it is much more comfortable than starving to death on a boat. Uh, you find, uh, the kinks in your back are wearing out. You find all your wounds have healed from your altercation with the pirates yesterday. Uh, and you see a little note at the foot of your bed. What do you do? Hmm. Mail, I see. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I go and I, I read it. All right, you open it up. Um, it reads in common, Helmsworth free. We were looking through your stuff, sorry, and we have noticed that you are an affiliate of a certain college. Best keep this a secret for now. Also, wake up the rest of your party, please. We have we have much to discuss on top deck. Finnegan. Well, isn't that rude? <laughs> Ballad, turn up your volume just a little bit. Maybe turn up that oh, gain. Oh, sorry. On, uh, bring that a little closer oh, to your so, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. I was like, I, I do. I just said for for those who might not appear for our audio only viewers, I said, uh, hmm, isn't that rude? And he kind of has. He just has a. He just kind of has a like. Like he know. Like he has a like. I was like, ah oh, man, someone else knows, and now I have to deal with this. He's kind of, he's, yeah, actually, no, I know, I know the word for it. He looks annoyed. He looks annoyed. <laughs> All that searching, we found it. Uh, we got, we, hey man, brain no think good sometime. Okay. <laughs> uh, Helmsworth, where do you go to? Uh, I suppose I will go and I will wake up, uh. Whose room is closest to mine? Uh, you have all been sleeping in the in the same barracks, as it were. You guys have in all the same bed. Just, same bed, same <laughs> comfy couch. No, you guys have all been like sep in in your separate bunks. You're all in like the army barracks. Um, if you look, uh, make a perception check just to see where everyone is. I am 
okay that that's good be ashamed 21 21 so you look around and you're like ah, man i've got eyes and <laughs> you notice <laughs> where the rest of the party is you're like i i i think i might be able to do this uh you find the rest of your party easily okay so i'm just gonna go at I'm just going to talk. I'm just going to wake him up in order of who's closest. Uh, Dorg is currently closest to you. All right. I take my my cane and I make sure to keep my distance and I poke at him. I poke him real good. Uh, roll to hit. <laughs> I get advantage since he's technically prone. So. Yes. And also we'll say that Dorg's effective AC for this is... 12 because he's lying down well, i rolled asleep. a 14 so all right so uh, <laughs> uh helmsworth you you ready your cane uh with holding the barbell on top and with a quick swift movement of like a like a like you're shooting that for the corner pocket pop <laughs> dork <poof. laughs> you wake up <laughs> you are up you feel you feel a slight headache uh, no damage, but just like, what the hell? Uh, and you notice one Helmsworth free. Uh, Helmsworth, are you going to keep your baton in the poking motion, or are you going to try and Oh, no, this? no, I've already returned, I've already returned it. Performance <laughs> check, please. In, I'm making this as innocuous as possible. Performance um, check to make it look natural. No, don't worry, I am good at performance, I get a plus four. Uh, that's gonna be a 22. Good. All right, so <laughs> you have a ready, like, pop, and you're, like, already leaning on your cane five feet away, much larger than your cane could have possibly reached. It's like, oh, door, you're up? <laughs> what time is it? It is time to get up, door. We are needed. Time for a drink. Where are we? On the boat, hopefully. Yeah, you're on the boat. Are you sure it looks very purple right now? <laughs> I assure you, Dorg, uh, we have not left the boat. At least as far as I'm aware, we this could all be an illusion. But what is life? You didn't paint my involved? ship purple, did you? I would never do. I, I would never do such a thing. Purple. He not would do good. such a thing given the chance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, moving, moving on, giving some dorks some initiative in this. What would you like to do now? Uh, I'd like to go up to the top of the top deck and see where we are. All right. Dork, you hastily grab your pants, grab your armor, just tie it up quickly. You know what you're doing, and you make your way to the top deck. Helmsworth, <clears throat> you've been given a task. Who do you Old wake of up you next? to assume that I do when I sleep naked. <laughs> who is who is all, who is closest who is closest uh, after door then? Uh, next closest is Satine. Uh, I take the little bobble, bobble and I, I kind of tap her on the head with it and just like, 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 a, like, also, a, like excuse a, me while yeah. I open my skylight. No, not, it, I'm not whacking her with it. It's just kind of like, it's kind of like, like, a, like uh, a knocking. It's kind of like a, it's like, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, because you've decided to go with a very gentle method, Satine, make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Waking up in my games is a whole ordeal, baby. <laughs> Apparently. I want everyone to experience what I do every day. It's a four. Okay, it, you are in the middle of an amazing dream. You are frolicking in the fields, back in Akensia, um, looking over the, the, the chartstone mines, and you're like, ah, the day is oh. good. It's a good. good day to be me. It's a it's a great day to be me. Uh, but the one thing you don't then again, uh, when isn't it a good day to be you? Am I right? <laughs> so it's a good. It's a, always a good day to be Satine. But then you hear you hear a knocking at your door, Satine, in your dream. Hmm. I I'm like nah. Satine, Satine. <laughs> the knocking <laughs> gets louder. Mm. Satine. <laughs> Ah! Right, right then, Carnegie bursts through the doors and says, "We have a meeting at eight. And you wake up very sharp. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Helmsworth, ah. are you going to attempt to make this look natural? 
<laughs> I am making this look natural. Performance check, am. baby. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. I want uh -oh. that net one. Well, you got it. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Oh! So as you're attempting to make this look natural and you lean on your cane, the cane slips out from underneath you and you fall prone. <laughs> like, whoop! Real slapstick humor out here. I'm just gonna only the, look Only over. the biggest of ha-has off of... <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> play Seinfeld. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Get that soundboard going. Get that soundboard. Ding, 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 ding. Don't, don't get me yeah. copyright no, no, strike, the moment, though. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the moment's gone. I'm like, the moment's gone. <laughs> I'll be ready. The is that. I'm gonna... I'll beat your like... mouse. <laughs> What's wrong with my mouse? They say, move your mouse. Nobody makes <laughs> it's that right right It's topic. giving me a head <laughs> right on top of me. Ah, mouse on the screen. We all love it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna like, trying to like, calm myself down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh There's the soundboard. There it is. Ready, <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> I'm just gonna try to catch my breath, and I realize, like, I look over and I'm like, "Are you all right?" Wait, can I make a comedy check to see how funny that was? <laughs> <laughs> Roll another performance check at advantage. <laughs> okay, so that's thirteen. So that's gonna be an eight. Okay, eighteen. It's gonna it, be a, oh wait no seventeen it's gonna be a seventeen. All right, so it was so funny uh, that as you fell over, you woke up the entire bottom deck. Yeah. Uh, you you fell and you're like oh and then sixteen, you just went. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is now awake. Just wake up laughing. <laughs> like yo, do, do you see this? <laughs> <Jen. laughs> and I, I'm like oh, I'm weird. Like, are you are you all right? That was amazing. Can you do that again? Did you <laughs> sleep on the floor? He, he kind of—it's like he—he he kind of uh, helps her. He tries to salvage whatever dignity is remaining, which is none. He kind of dusts himself off. <laughs> and he just kind of readjusts his cap. And he's like, "I'm—I'm <clears throat> uh, I'm glad to see that the rest of you are all awake." <clears throat> yes. Well. You all are awake. I'm assuming Helmsworth, just to get just to speed this along a little bit, you guys make your way up to the top deck. Uh, Dorg, you've been up there first, uh, and you uh, you see Finnegan is currently conversing with one Harbinger. Harbinger does not touch the ground. He is still flying roughly ten feet above the ocean, above the ocean, but he and off specifically off the corner of the boat. Um, and they're having a nice, like, it looks like they're having, like, a discussion of terms or whatnot. Dorg, how do you approach this? <laughs> I don't like that. That was worth it just for Liz's stare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone clip that cursed laugh, please. <laughs> the fear in my eyes. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> don't like that. Oh, he don't like that. Don't like that. <laughs> All right. Dor grumbles aggressively and paces over to uh, Finnegan and asks, and asks, what's he saying now? Uh, Finnegan said, Finnegan goes, uh, excuse me, uh, Dork, it seems as though uh, this safe passage that he has warned us about is, uh, Safety for all those alive. Not much safety for the Lady Shawshank. So I'd lose my ship if I went in there. Not... He claims it shall be salvageable, but... Uh, we will need to do repairs. How big repairs? He doesn't know. He says it's different ship to ship that he lets pass through. Some are only minor scratches to the hull, and some are, uh, well, let's just say that uh, they are best left to the sea now. This ship can handle anything. 
We should definitely see our insurance bill. All right, Harbinger. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I ran up half of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he turns. Uh, Finnegan turns to the rest of the party and says, "So, Dork and I have come to an agreement. We are fine with the ship being sacrificed, should it be necessary. We don't think it should be, but we are. It is a good chance we shall suffer damages." You all should be best to stay inside of my quarters in the back of the ship. I am expendable. I will stay on top deck to make sure that we fly straight and true with Harbinger. You all must stay safe. You are the landing crew. Once we reach the island, it will be up to you five to ensure that we do not die and that we get all necessary equipment in order for our safe travels further. Is that understood? Uh, I just have a question to ask you as a as a player, real Go quick. Go for it, homie. Um, would Helmsworth have any experience with boat travel, given his previous, given his background? Uh, you've been a passenger. Okay, so I wouldn't be of much help. One second, every if this is fucking up the stream in any way, I'm deeply sorry, but I don't think it should be. I'm just trying to close up some of my tabs. Um, I think I'm the only one with proficiency in water vehicles potentially oh no no i'm not talking about stuff like that i was thinking like that was just uh i, I, I think you're speaking out. more to like has he ever been on like how many boats has he been on oh yeah yeah not not necessarily speaking like to how like, how useful would i be because i there's a certain course of action that i'm thinking of taking based on your last voyage <laughs> not you're not great hey, i made it hey the boat did not sink that's all i'm going to say um uh, so uh, does anyone have any objections wait, but, uh, wait, to this oh. plan? Ew. Uh, Satine, yes. I'm just, I'm more concerned about you. I'll be fine. Do you know that? Harbinger, will I be fine? <laughs> Harbinger looks out to the rest of you and says, He will live. With everything intact? Well, I mean, Light that's intact. neither here nor there. What do you mean? I mean, like, I... <laughs> Would he be able to move in the same function, in the same way that he is moving at this moment? He will live. It is up to the rest of you to make sure that he is back to his true self should he suffer. I cannot guarantee true safety. Look at the storm. You guys look out. It looks like five hurricanes had a massive orgy and produced a fire tornado volcano. It looks horrifying. It's like a wall of death. It looks fine to me. Porn <laughs> orgy? <laughs> Tar hurricane orgy. <laughs> um, if the fact that I can guarantee a life through that, much less the entire crew, should be enough to consider that if he were to lose uh, some blood take damage. I think that this is the best I can do. It is up to you to continue on to the island. You can always turn around and go back to whatever country you came from. But if you wish to go on that island, I am the only way through. I am not trying to harm you. I only wish for your safe passage. Couldn't we just wait until the storm goes away? Oh, sweet child. <laughs> <laughs> um, here... Yeah. Harbinger like 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 kind of like flies along the side of the ship like as close as he can get to you without stepping on the ship and he says What is your name child? My name's Piggly. How old are you Piggly? 18 Harbinger like blinks and is like Right uh, I'm short for my age. Yes, you are. Yes, you are Uh <laughs> The storm isn't going anywhere. The and we can't stayed. we can't go around? Oh no, it is entirely around the island. It's a big storm. Oh, it's quite big. It's a storm donut. Harbinger <laughs> 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 mean, looks to you, buddy, and goes Are you two related? <laughs> You're quite No <laughs> No. I wish I was related, he's so cool. <laughs> Oh. No, everyone everyone in my family right gets a P name. Room. Everyone in my family gets a P name when they're adopted, and she doesn't have a P name. My name's Bunny. 
It yeah. could be punny though. <laughs> like if <laughs> yeah, if you are in my family, it might be punny. Other people, there's Pod, Palm, Posh, Pamantha. So many options. Caroline, Pallid, Parkus, Piz, <laughs> Puff, Pete, Pout, Paw, and many others. <laughs> Percy. It took me two seconds Har when we got there. Harbinger is, <laughs> Harbinger is just watching this Abbott and Costello <laughs> bit play out, and then he flies back to the front of the ship, and he goes back to Satine and says, I can guarantee every life on this ship, and what state everyone's life will be in is not guaranteed. Although it seems as though Finnegan has suggested that if you guys stayed in his quarters, the most heavily guarded and heavily armored part of the ship, you should be fine. Well, okay. Well, then. Look down and uh, Helmsworth kind of tips his hat for us, like, well then, and he kind of squirrels his cane a bit. There's only one thing to do then. I will accompany Finnegan, and the rest of you will stay within the ship. That is literally not what I said. <laughs> How are you going to help? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have... one more thing about the gnomes. Are we sure that they're gnomes and not just baby children? I'm not baby children. I'm 21 years old. <laughs> you like baby baby child is a little redundant. You could have chosen one. Are, are they, they just small humans? Do they always talk Ooh, like this? Burn, ooh, burn. <laughs> Harbinger uh, goes, Finnegan, do you accept anyone to come on the top deck with you? He, he looks around and he says, Helmsworth, you were just on the sea yesterday. Rest up. Don't die. I won't die. I was on the. I was on the. I was on the. I was on these seas for a long time, and I faced many horrors. But not only did I make it through them, I lived till then. My ship did not go down. If we are, if you want to make it through, you're going to need a lucky charm, as it were. And I am very lucky. I'm willing to share that luck with you. <sighs> All right. Rowboat sank yesterday. I'm Not pretty sure I was I see when it. I first met you yesterday. If he dies, he dies. It's not my prerogative. All right, Helmsworth, your job is to ensure that I don't fall off this ship and ensure that I can stay true. Dork. I would like you to stay in the bottom deck with the strong gnome and make sure that the doors don't fly open. Bunny, yes, you had a question. Yeah, um, the layout. Oh, just kidding, it went back to normal. No questions. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bunny, hope you're having uh, a great day. Bunny ascends to the, to, the, to the extra planar realm and goes, the layout. Um, oh, uh, oh, I gosh. snap back into it. <gasps> Where are we let's, going? Let's, are you let's keep going. Twitch? <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Twitch? Uh, you guys, uh... Uh, do you guys all comply with Finnegan's plan? Yeah, I comply. I can't steer a ship, so I don't really have a choice. Mm -hmm. right. Dork? Where am I going? Sorry. Don't we need a captain there. for this ship? Finnegan, a uh, dork. I'll captain. I've already lost one leg. Keep yours. I think for a second and say, Fine, going down below. Good I, t I turn to Dork and say, Don't worry. You'll be safe with me. I better be. This is my damn ship. Uh, Finnegan, Finnegan passes you. Um, he reaches into his breast pocket and he passes to you, Dork. He says, these notes, and no one else can hear this. These notes were only meant to be opened upon arrival at the island. If I don't make it, you open them. Good luck. Mm, you'll make it. You're too damn stubborn and you hold your liquor too well. <laughs> <laughs> Many drinks to come. All right, let's get on with this plan. Harbinger! Everyone, get to my quarters! Do you follow his orders? Yes. Okay. Yes. You yes. guys all follow except for Helmsworth. Helmsworth stays on top deck. Um, the rest of the crew stays in the, in the, like, the barracks. Uh, with, like, the rest of the, with the rest of the bunk beds. Helmsworth turn, um, uh, Finnegan turns to you, Helmsworth, and says, All right. We're about to start the journey. You might want to hold on to something. Harbinger tells me this is a bit of a rough one. Well, I do have this rope. And I also have another... Th I also have some other things that I can use. Do the rope. 
I don't know what you're doing, but do the rope if you're gonna do it, because I'm gonna start- I'm gonna tell Harbinger to start leading our ship forward in about five minutes. And if you're not secure in five minutes, you're all probably going to die. Don't worry, don't worry. What are you gonna do with the rope? What are you doing? What's uh, your plan? Is there anything around, like, um, I'm assuming I'm, I'm gonna be by, like, the, the steering- Yeah, you're gonna be right by the car. steering wheel with Finnegan. He seems to have been- he is like brandishing with all his might against the on the uh on the, the the steering wheel. Okay, is there like uh is there like a little lookout in front of the steering wheel that I could tie myself to? There is one behind the steering wheel. Uh, like at the back okay, of the okay. boat. Or you could tie uh, yourself to the front of the ship or the sides of the ship. Okay. Um what I will do is that I will tie myself to um, one of the side, one of the like uh, one of the sides of the ship that is by the steering wheel, mm -hmm. and I'll say, I'm gonna say to Finnegan, uh, Finnegan, do you plan on moving from where you are currently standing in any way whatsoever? No. What is your plan? And it's like good. And I use my shape water to freeze his feet in place. Uh, all right. Uh, oh. So, Helmsworth, you take your cane, you point at the water, and with like a fluid motion, you just sw swap the water up and like out of the out of the ocean and just swirl around his feet and <laughs> freezes him in place. Like, and goes, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get like I'm trying to get as high up as I can within the limits of it. You can so, cover like, can you cover up. like just past his ankles. They're like ski boots. You know? Okay. That should help you have a little more grip of leverage at, le at the very least. Well, now that you've done this, are you sure you don't want to go down into the, into the, into the, into the captain's quarters? If I, I don't know if this will take more than an hour. If I'm not here to maintain it, the ice will melt. All right. Let's get ready to roll. Harbinger! And so, Harbinger... Uh, fly um like gives him a nod and flies up into the sky um and uh when he does so you suddenly feel the wind just pick up behind the sails harbinger it seems was giving an incredible amount of power to stop the force of the hurricane from dragging you guys into it but now that he's gone the force is just dragging you guys directly towards it um and it's going fast incredibly fast uh Helmsworth, as you look up above, you notice that the that the awnings of the of the of the masts are actually nearly dragging the masts down. Like the like the front of the ship is like barreled down from the extreme force of wind. In the captain's quarters, um, who is currently preventing the doors from swinging open? Me and I. Can I jam one of my javelins in between the lock and the? Uh, yes, you can. And the door frame. All right, you and take that one of your javelins, shink right in there. Um, you're still going to have to make a athletics check. Okay. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. Well, you have you have secured this thing nice and tight, but even still, nothing, nothing, nothing like a little extra weight to keep it stick, keep it stuck. You, without your help, it would have definitely swung open, but it wasn't much needed extra help. Um, everyone else, you notice that there is a lot of shaking and cracking on the outside of the boat. Um, uh, Piggly Bunny and Satine, as you guys look inside the captain's quarters, you notice that it is exquisitely well, uh, what's the word? Well decorated? It is a very lavish cabin. So Very, lux. like, mwah. You, <laughs> dork, as you look back, you look with a little bit of saltiness that this isn't your cabin. And that you only get it on weekends when he's out in the town. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're 50-50 partners, but I have to sleep at the helm of the ship. <laughs> uh, what are you? Uh, what are you all going to do? You are. You can search the room. You can take a short rest. You can prepare spells. Read a book. Make hot cocoa. What are you? What's he up to? <laughs> Tell scary ghost stories. <laughs> <laughs> Piggly's just gonna sit on the floor. All right. Uh, well, crisscross applesauce or legs straight out? Legs straight out. 
<laughs> He's not very bendy. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You are built like a power lifter. Uh, Bunny, what are you up to? I want to make hot cocoa. Uh, Bunny, <laughs> you look to the corner. You look to like the the corner, and you notice that there's a small little like stove of sorts powered by and by these ma- by these magic rocks. Um, after, could you make an investigation check for me, please? Yeah. Sixteen. Uh, you look at the, you look at the oven, and you, you look at the stove, and you're like, I know how this works. I used to work in a food (laughs) place. I know what do. Boop, boop, and then after, after a few pushing, you twist it. Uh, the fires, uh, the fires burst up from the from the bubbles. The little fires burst up from the little rocks in the and un, underneath the stove. And then you look to your right. You notice that there's some water you can place on some hot cocoa stuff, some tea stuff. Uh, you and you get to making it. Do you mind rolling me? Do you have cooks? Do you have a proficiency in cooks tools? Ooh, I think I do. Let's see. Do, do, do. Pretty sure that's one of my things. Sorry. It's uh, not okay. Uh, we are super <laughs> professional here. I know it's not okay. Uh, <laughs> no room for errors. We have never made any yes, yes, I do. I do. You do? I do has. I okay. has. Um, make a survival check, but add your proficiency bonus to it. You make some pretty mediocre but still nice hot cocoa. <laughs> it is comforting considering the fact that the, that this entire boat is about to go into a massive hurricane. Yay. Uh, Satine, <laughs> are you doing anything? Yeah, I'm looking around. I'm sorry, can I, like, hunt through his desk? <laughs> hunt? <laughs> uh, sure. Dorg, would you be okay with this? Don't open the leftmost desk. That's Dorg's desk. That's private. All right. Can I go for the leftmost desk? Uh, yes, you may. Interceptor. I interceptor. Um, <laughs> before we do that, let's do let's do a little bit of it. Let's do a little bit of dice rolling. Uh, Satine, make a stealth check. Dorg, make a perception check at disadvantage because you are currently holding the door. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Okay, couldn't get that much worse. Four. Four. Okay. Satine? Fifteen. <laughs> All right. So, Satine, like, I won't, and then you move to the right. <laughs> but your hand is on the leftmost desk. So, Dork, you're like, you're you're busy jamming your shoulder against the door. You're facing the brunt of a storm, and you're like, ah, ah she's fine. And you get back to, to stopping the storm. Satine? Um, the leftmost desk is locked. Make a sleight of hand check, please. I feel bad now. Liz Guild is coming in. <laughs> <laughs> you're not Liz anymore. You're I not know. Liz, you're Satine Bergenfeld. What? Liz died. 18. Okay, you... Concerned. You try to jimmy it a bit, and you're like, this is tough. And then you see that, uh, you see that the key's on the top of the desk, and you just slide it off the top and open it up. And you open it up, and you see a small journal. Just with a paint with a picture. And I feel pic- so weird, but the I... picture is of uh, <laughs> the picture is of uh, Dorg and uh, and a woman, and they are they look quite they look quite happy um, together. Dorg looks a little bit younger than he does now. Okay. That's Did you there. find anything interesting? Why do your eyes look like that? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Dorg, at this moment, you turn around and notice that she's been in the leftmost desk. I was like, mm-hmm. Human woman! It must be interesting. Put that down! <laughs> Putting it down. I didn't see any. I didn't see anything. What did Deception you not see? Deception check. <laughs> Deception? Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Three. Oh. She saw 
everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw nothing. I saw nothing. I promise I you I saw nothing. I she saw everything. Oh, God. I want to kick you out the back of the ship so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I, the layout. I, the layout. I, the layout. You look very the happy. Layout. You open the layout. Head. Twitch. Just Damn for it. that. <laughs> Are oh, just for that. I was just gonna <laughs> say, I've remind me if this. I remind me if I forget to give us a break this time. I, was just say, <laughs> I guess I can't do that. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be like, I. She looks very pretty. Like, <laughs> just put it back down, like slowly. Ooh, she. Who ooh. was it? If I, the tiny people speak, I will kick them out the back of this ship. I'm. Just, I'm gonna go. Shh, to bunny and bunny and piglet. But who do, wants do, it do it with me. Do, do it with I, me. I turn to Satine and I reach inside the desk and I grab a bottle of ale and I say, just for that, you don't get any. So you leave the, you leave the door? <laughs> yeah. He jammed yes. it with the jam, right? Bro. <laughs> Let's play a game. Marcus. This is my favorite I'm, I'm going to look at it's called oh, Hoppy so. Outlaw Rolls Dice. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the javelin oh, holds. Uh, as, oh. you look to the, as you look uh, back at the javelin, you notice it's like, uh, as you grab your being like, you don't get any. You hear the door like, <laughs> but the javelin from an especially strong wind burst, but the javelin remains, uh, remains tacked and strong and sturdy. Is he is he back at the door? Are you? No, I'm just door? enjoying my booze. Okay, you're enjoying your booze. Okay. <laughs> Soon may the well of Van <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back I love on... your commitment to role play. I know. <laughs> back on top deck. Ten percent for the record. Back on top deck. A Helmsworth. You. The the boat is going at a at a. Uh, I don't know how fast a knot is. But so I'm just gonna say in kilometers, and for those who are American, just double that t for 1.6 that for miles. Have fun. Uh, Make me do math. For uh, Americans, get a better unit of measurement. For Americans, make us. Get, get, oh, oh, oh one, how we wish we. Hey. Not is 1.8 kilometers per hour. 1.8. Okay, got him. Look at that math, man. There's a reason that I never did, uh, why, why I never ended up doing my engineering degree and I went into theater. So, uh, on top deck, you notice, uh, Helmsworth, you guys are going at a, at a pretty fast speed for a boat, uh, like 40 kilometers an hour. So, like, it's picking up. Um, and you notice that that storm is looking fierce. You have one last yeah. chance oh, nice. to back out. Uh, as I see that the store is getting fe more fierce, I use my shape water to create a kind of like a kind of barrier that kind of like a, a little like hemisphere like uh, behind Finnegan. So like if he gets knocked back, he will fly into the block of ice instead of flying off of the ship. Alrighty. So you do that. Uh, fi uh, you do that. It's nice and he looks back and you go, you really ought to use the little Swiss Army knife, aren't you? What, what for yourself? Would you, believe, just... would you believe that this is the that this isn't the worst situation I've been in? Dear God, you're confusing. What, what are you doing for yourself, though? You're using all these spells on me. How are you going to protect yourself? I'll be fine. I got this rope, see? So you're just you're just tied to the ship. Is that what? I'm, oh what yeah, I'm, I'm just tied. I'm just tied to the ship. I can't use I can't have, use more than two non instantaneous effects. And since I've made Finnegan's feet be secured and I have him protected at the back, I can't use shape water for myself. All right. As you guys pro progress through the storm, you notice Harbinger has appeared at the back of the ship and he go and 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 his and his and has placed his hands on the back. And is now pushing the ship forward even faster through the storm. Um, he push, he shouts up to the top of you as the rainstorm comes. He says, "This is gonna be really rough. Hold on tight." And you guys start going faster and faster and faster and faster towards the ship. You are now going at about a hundred kilometers an hour on a goddamn boat. You are going faster than the storm 
Um, and as such, as you as this happens, you notice the masts just can't take the force, and they topple, and they go flying back. They fly off the ship, and it is now just purely Harbinger pushing you guys through the storm. Um, Helmsworth, well, I'm, I'm glad gonna, the, you're gonna need I, to make Helmsworth it. as he sees the mast flying down. He's like, "Well, I'm glad you guys had insurance." <laughs> <laughs> um, make a strength saving throw uh, to ensure that your rope stays taut as you notice the wind is just whipping the, the loose ends all over Helm the place. Helmsworth just becomes a kite. saving throw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I got a 13. Uh, you barely manage to grapple onto the ropes and you try to tie it, but you notice that this is not gonna go well. You're like, you're like, oh I, God. I run to help him. I run to help him. Do You, you don't you see don't this. You don't see any of this. Oh, I thought I was we thought we were all bug decks. No, 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 we're, we're, no, no, we're, we're, we're under the cabin. You guys You're are very drunk. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that things are, gonna, are going bad, Helmsworth. This rope is not gonna hold. Um, Jeez, uh, can I cast Mending on the rope? The rope isn't broken. Uh, well, I mean, if it's good, like, is it not gonna hold us in the knot's gonna become undone? Or is it not gonna hold us in its frame? The knot is gonna become undone. Ah, shit. Nothing I can do about that, then. Um... Uh... Uh... Guys, keep going towards the storm. You are about... Uh, you are one turn out from entering the storm wall. I'm gonna... Uh, can I use... Oh, wait, no. That's actually gonna... That would actually be the worst thing I could do. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. You don't do anything? Uh, there's nothing I really can do. I was gonna cast frostbite on the rope, but that would just make the rope brittle and shatter instantly. So. <laughs> do you have? Um, wait, actually, hold on. Let me see. What do I got in my inventory here? Um, another rope. Another rope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got some pittance. If you and I have a hammer, I could just start hammering <laughs> just some rope, belaying myself right. in. <laughs> Um, I could. I could gonna start. Try that? I, I mean, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, so. Make a sleight of hand check. Okay, I'm, I'm alrighty-ish at sleight of hand. Oh, 20, baby. Ooh. So what exactly are you doing now? <laughs> I, like, you know how, like, when you go rock climbing and you go, like, like real rock climbing, you've got those little metal rod you put them in and you and that's what you tie your rope to They're like little wedges mm -hmm. i'm doing that but just to the surface of the ship so that i don't go flying off all right so you frantically take out your hammer and pittance and you're like i gotta get to work now and you just do 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 just start hammering all around you <laughs> tying frantically <laughs> grabbing ropes and tying them as fast as you can until eventually you are like uh you're not tied to the boat you are tangled to the boat uh but you are hey, secure man. whatever works um and Did so you the enter the storm wall uh now let's see and this is where now this is where the fun begins harbinger continues to push the boat but you notice as you enter the storm wall there is tons of random crap just flying through there there is there are boat parts that have been frayed and shred shredded from people who did not have passage by harbinger there are rocks just flying. There are dead bodies flying through the air, been mangled and torn to pieces. Dust particles, the like. Fish. Everything is going. Is currently flying in the storm wall. Um, and okay. Helmsworth, you notice off to your left, you see a giant boulder headed directly for the hull of the ship. I've seen this movie. Uh, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Can I cast Shatter on that boulder? Would that make like you drop concentration it. on your other spells? Well, I mean, it's not a concentration spell, so technically, shape water isn't concentration either. So yeah, you should just I'll allow it. Uh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, you you look and you notice. You act quickly. Um, what are the components for shatter? Uh, well, I mean, it's verbal, somatic, and. It says a chip of mica, but I have an arcane focus, uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I, should, yeah, yeah. I don't need material components. I'm thinking more in terms of that somatic stuff. You are tied to the boat. I mean, I just need to kind of spin my cane around a little bit. 
Make so a sleight of hand check. With, you are I can tied. do that. I can. I can. Yeah, I was you gonna say I can tied. do that with one. You know, I can do that with one hand, but it would be difficult. Like I, I mean, like 16. you're kind of like you're kind of look like you look like a someone who just got in a fight with Spider Man. You are tied to this boat to avoid flying yeah, off. No, I, yeah, no, I rolled a sixteen. Though, so. Okay, you take. You're like, ah! You spin the cane, and then you just like jerk your hand towards the rock, and you manage to, you manage to hit the rock. <laughs> Um, and it shatters into a thousand dust particles. It does not hit the boat, but the shredding of the dust does actually interfere with you. Uh, you are going to take, play a fun game. What dice? I wanted, because what I wanted, what I wanted to say was that while, when I noticed that there's a bunch of crap floating around, I wanted to alter the shape water hemisphere. So that it kind of, how tall is Finnegan? Finnegan is a sturdy 5'6". Okay. Oh, wait, actually, no, that means, it's, that means that I can't do what I, I thought he was shorter than five feet, so I can't do what I wanted to do. Uh, the grape so shot just... from that shattered boulder deals. Uh, deals 20 damage to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I cast shield to reduce that damage? Uh, shield. Sure. Because, I mean, shield doesn't work like that, but it does raise my AC a crap ton, so. Uh, I'll say that you can do that, considering how this is, how. Because it's, it's kind of like, because the shield technically is like, a, it's like a barrier, so like. Yeah, if I can I'll, use I'll that... give you, I'll give you to that, I'll give this to you. Okay, so how much damage does it negate? Uh, you, It negates, I'd say, five damage. So, okay. it, it, so it's I flying super fast. That's why I didn't really give you. It wasn't like an attack roll, but you do manage to stop. Yeah, yeah, large, yeah, yeah, yeah. Large rock. Um, but I am. I'm already not doing so hot. Um, okay. Glad I was able to save five damage from that. Below deck, uh, things have started getting a little bit hairy as well. Uh, Dorg, I'm going to need you to make another strength saving throw. All right. Not twenty. Not twenty. All right. So, um, you uh, you feel a massive shockwave explosion happen outside, the and the air force as you guys enter the storm is already massive. And then, you you feel this massive wind surge about to snap your javelin, and you just grab your javelin, shove it back into place, place your shoulder in, and you are like a stone against the door. Uh, everyone else, could you make a dexterity Dork save? Is a stone. Being knocked prone. I missed that little. You glitched. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, dexterity saving throw oh, to avoid oh, being knocked Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. How cool does Dorg look when he's just pushing? Yeah. His <laughs> That's my okay. next question. How cinematic is it? Dorg looks so cool. Dorg looks like Chris Hemsworth, uh, fighting <laughs> Iron Man with the shield. It looks like you are just like <laughs> rippling muscles. Just, just a mass. Wow, what a, a specimen. A, just a it. specimen. <laughs> like, oh my I... goodness. If he had OnlyFans, uh, everyone would be subbed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pocket the notebook? I'll say a uh, sleight of hand check. Yeah. Uh, dork Do perception check at disadvantage. Oh, no, we're like... Uh, 15. What'd you get, Satine? Eight. <laughs> Eight. Uh, Satine, you try to put it. You try. You try to put. Like, you're, you're like. You're like. I wonder what this is. <laughs> uh, Look, at, a storm. At, dork, I imagine you just feel like put that back. <laughs> give it to me. Uh. You are obliged to give it to him, Satine. He looks really hot right now. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh, he's so hot right Here now. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, fine, whatever you say. Satine's um, face goes diary, tomato and I put red. It in my pocket. I need to stop my mouse on the screen. I was I'm just about to remind you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll get it one day, guys. Uh, but anyway, Satine, you try, you fail. Um, bu Bunny Piggly, what'd you guys get on that deck save? 
Natural 20. Okay. I got an 8. Ooh. Bunny, oh, I'm I sorry to say, this. but you spill your hot cocoa. Ah! Oh, no! It's <laughs> <laughs> hot chocolate! <laughs> but from, your, from the one uh, little sip of hot cocoa that you did get, you do have one temporary hit point. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. Oh, uh, uh, Outlaw, I just realized... Since I cast two spells with that were first level high, I, I rolled them. Yes. Are... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, I've I've been rolling them. Um. So, <laughs> you guys. Uh. So that that is what happens down below deck. Um. Dorg, you notice that your javelin is suffering major uh fatigue. Um. It is potentially going to break if another massive if another massive wind burst manages to find its way down here. What do you do? I return and brace myself against the door. Okay. Can 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 I help out? Uh, you yeah. Need any help? Anyone I... may help out if they can, if they yeah. have the ability. Can to. I cast entangle on like the door or the javelin into the door or something? Uh, yeah. yes, you may cast uh, entangle on the on the door itself. Yay! So you cast entangle. Um, these mass uh door. You notice as these vines wrap around the door and the javelin. Um. As 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 a uh, bunny, you play a, ma- a great chord on your sitar, just bring, and then the <laughs> the uh, the the vines also play a chord as they shimmy out to match, to harmonize, and they they wrap up, tie themselves up, and they tie themselves taut. Door, you have also been tied up a little bit in this, but not in a disadvantageous way. You are, have been braced against it. Uh, yes, Piggly, what would you like to do? While she's doing that, can I try to make her more hot chocolate since I saw it got spilled? <laughs> yeah, yes, you may. Uh, do you have proficiency in cooking tools? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Raw survival check, please. What do you want? Survival check. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Go! No! no! He saw it! No! He was too good looking. <laughs> he was too hot was for too the hot stream. For <laughs> Uh, ten minus one, nine. Uh, you make hot chocolate, uh, uh but, um... I try. <laughs> you try, you really try, but uh, as you stir it, you put in way too much powder. Uh, it's a little <laughs> chalky, but, uh, you make it. Um... <laughs> Dork, where'd you go? <laughs> Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Wait, so if he's not here, can I take the notebook and put it into my book? (laughs) He didn't die. Yeah. I mean, he's in the kitchen right now. He's just just a little wrapped up, okay? I'm going to be like, yeah. Okay. Um, Buddy, here you go. I made you more hot chocolate. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Do you want to take a break to sort this out or no? Uh, I was just about to say, we may as well take a break right now. Uh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> hey. 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 hey! Hey! Internet crap, but I'm back. Yay! Yay. Yay. Uh, we'll hold off on that break for a little bit unless someone is especially bursting for a pee or a drink. No, I got my hot chocolate. Uh, okay. Uh, is it good? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, everyone, you may do one more thing uh, to potentially brace for the door or one more thing to snoop around, uh, explore, set up, whatever you want to do in this in this below deck. Uh, it, I'll go brace against the door. All right, Piggly, you also brace against the door. Um, <laughs> Dork, you're like over top, like here. Like, <laughs> and then Piggly, you just kind of go below I'm just him. between his legs. <laughs> uh Dork, you look down. Uh, you're like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> but uh, uh, you do notice that the strain of the door actually is relieved a little bit from from Piggly also being a, a just a, a brick house. An absolute unit. An absolute unit. Uh, big, built different, as the kids might say. I'm just gonna move this around <laughs> back to the original layout as everyone was. Okay, I think that was it anyway. Uh. So, that is what you guys do below deck. Uh, Satine, would you like to do anything else? One more thing to do. How is that door looking? 
It's looking pretty sturdy at this point. Okay. It's looking pretty, pretty sturdy. Okay. Um, <laughs> I feel useless. I'm just gonna... Wait, wait, I mean, one real quick cleric. question. I'm, you got I'm, some stuff. I'm concerned I, I don't something. agree. She's I'm quite good. good at stealing people's journals. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not that um, good. You got, she got I, caught both times. <laughs> I try, well, also, Marcus, when you're gone, I tried doing it again. Just, I want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> Human woman is hurting, dork. Um, I have one question. I might, might want to try something. Um, those vines, are like they easy to get rid of? Uh, all Bunny has to do is drop concentration on them, I believe. Or they, okay, they okay, I was concerned minutes, about something. And then, they, then they'll go away. Okay. So, can I go to Finnegan's desk and look around? <laughs> uh yes you may i'm you... like great job guys <laughs> and I look over to... you're doing great good job you're, you're doing am you're doing amazing sweetie you're doing <laughs> Thanks. um yeah you get you, find I'm, his I'm, desk. I'm... you use the key that you use to unlock dorgs and you unlock his desk as well i'm looking for the most important suspicious looking thing whatever that may be uh, you look in it and you you find a few you find a you find a, a few assortment of things. Uh, you find his dueling pistols, first of all, that he keeps here for special occasions. Uh, you find special occasions. When you, <laughs> uh, you find um, <laughs> as you flip through, you find some boring insurance papers. Those might come in handy when you get back to Akensia. <laughs> Uh, you find some old letters from some old lovers, um, some old letters from some old business partners, some old letters from some old uh, assassins that would like him dead. Uh, but what you also find in, in there are some an assortment of, uh, you find a little lockbox, and inside this lockbox is a stone, a charred stone, a magical mm. item by my own design, patent pending. Uh... <laughs> You are familiar with these items, Satine, through your own ways, and how this and how this how this stone works. If you were to place this stone into a weapon with a socket, for which I will refer to them as socketed weapons, you may activate the stone as a bonus action if it has a spell, or if it is an ability which will allow you to do special attacks, you may use it as your action. You do not know what the stone currently does, but you find it all the same. I'm gonna pocket it. I'm gonna teeth it. Wow, the cleric Ooh. is the one yeah. who's stealing. Who uh, thought? You take the you take the stone and you pocket mm -hmm. it. Um, no one. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say everyone else is too focused on their hot cocoa or keeping the door <laughs> that they do not notice. Uh, priorities. Priorities. <laughs> on top deck, uh, the storm continues to rage. It seems I, like, uh, I, uh, I, I'm holding my hat on my head. I'm just like, is like, uh, uh, Finnegan, you're holding up there, love. <laughs> Finnegan is like, a bit, bri bit brisk as of late. <laughs> Finnegan is like, is like, uh, he is straining. Despite all your best efforts, he is straining. But you do suspect he would have been knocked off without your help. Um, he is still managing to remain to maintain course. Harbinger. His hands are once again still firmly placed on the back of the ship, pushing it forward. He says, this next part is the roughest. We're going to be going over the shoals. If there's any way you can you can brace the hull of the ship, you magic man, now might be a good time. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, uh, what can, what can I do? What can I, I do? It is at this moment um, that you notice that lightning, that charges of lightning are beginning to strike all around you, Helmsworth. Um, uh, 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 Harbinger is doing his best to bat them away as they come close to you with his ma with his own magic, but they are uh, uh, some are still managing to find their way through. There's just too many of them. They're striking the water to your left, the water to your right, clowns to the left of you, fools to the right. Here you are, stuck in the middle with Finnegan, and lightning bolts strike the the top of the deck. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask something real quick. Uh, I know this isn't how this spell works, but hear me out. If I cast shield at the third level, would I be able to reinforce the ship with it? Uh, 
you wouldn't be able to reinforce, but you would definitely be able to block block a few a, a few hits. Okay. So I enlar will... enlarge yourself and then cast it and stand in front of the ship. Because <laughs> <laughs> shield's a okay, reaction, so... correct? Yeah, shield is a reaction. I normally wouldn't be able to upcast it, which is why I'm asking if I could use it in that fashion. This is purely me just being like, ah, I'm just trying anything. Uh, let's let's see how I'm feel. Let's let the dice decide how I'm feeling. Ah, it sounds cool. Let's go for it. Um, All right, cool. I will cast that at the third level. All right, but as, I, as a result, I, I'm going to do three rolls of uh of the yeah, thing. Yeah, the wild ma wild magic surge. Yes. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, so, uh, you Helmsworth, you you with all of the weird magic uh, fumbling around in your body, you managed to fa to fandangle this weird shield. Um, it is. You've managed to cast it, uh, I guess you could say, as an action to, re to like, brace the hull against an oncoming assault. And it will stay up for a minute as a result. Okay. However, as you tell, do this... Tell me if I... T wait, hold on. I'm the, if, I, if, I, if, you, if, I, if you rolled Wild Magic Surge, I'm the one that rolls the D100 for that. I know, I know. I haven't done that yet. But what I'm saying, as you do this, you notice that the water... At um, Finnegan's feet begins to melt. The ice at Finnegan's feet begins to melt. It seems as though this is going to require your concentration to keep up. Jeez, uh, um, but shape water isn't even a concentration spell. I know. I'm just saying that. Well, I'm saying it's like it, this is gonna. It's like more than one simultaneous effect. Correct. It's taken well, a lot out yeah. of you. We, we Wait, broke so the rules. I'm giving you consequences. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Like the, the the hemisphere behind him is still holding though, right? Yes, the hemisphere behind him still holds, but it looks as though that's the mo that's the most that's the most important thing. Yes. Um. He he go he notices that his peg leg begins to slip a little bit. He's like, oh, do what you must, Helmsworth. Keep the ship safe. Uh, and you don't worry. You, the hemisphere should hold. You whip your your cane at the front of the ship. And this this glorious shield of this of this rainbow of magical colors, not yet decided on its exact ethereal energy, it appears at the front of the ship. Um, and right as that happens, um, you feel just in time, you strike some shoals. But the shield bounces your ship thirty feet in the air below deck. Make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, 15. 15? Bunny, what'd you get? Oh, <laughs> you meant all of us. Yeah, all of you. <laughs> Deck save. Uh, yes. As, okay. uh, as the, <laughs> the shield bounces <laughs> oh, the, yeah. the ship okay. 20, uh, 30 feet into the it's air off of the shoals. 21! Is 21? this an effect I can see? Huh? Is this an effect I can see yes, for a Sadly, no. Index? This is a little unexpected. No. I don't think boats yeah. usually jump. 10. 10. Okay. Natural 20. Alright, Satine, Ooh. Bunny, Dorg, you all pass. Piggly, you get you get <laughs> into the air, but en route, no. your head smashes into Dorg's nuts. Comes back around. Oh no. Oh, that's gotta oh. hurt. Uh <laughs> You take a point of bludgeoning damage, but thankfully, because of Bunny's entangle, you don't uh, actually fall from the from the the door, and you manage to stay there. Um, I lost my D20. Door hurts. <laughs> but having been thrown into the air, uh, thank God the masts were taken off. Otherwise, your ship would have been surely sent uh, flying for miles. The ship does spin, though. Helmsworth casting a spell like this at a, at a rare new level does not come with per, is not perfection. You cast uh, this weird instant wall of force poof, unevenly, and the ship begins to spin. Everyone, you briefly for a moment experience zero gravity as you fly and you lift off of the ground. This is so cool! <laughs> <laughs> My insides are dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> 
this door doesn't like this door doesn't like this uh, right. you <laughs> helmsworth you notice your shield block many things as it assails the front of the ship um other ships fly bounce off rocks bounce off um until sadly the point of the, until sadly a massive boulder comes flying directly at the center of the ship Oh, another oh, one. As Helm gets his boulder coming, he's just like, oh, come on. And he'll be cut off. By <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, this boulder does not seem to be flying especially fast, but it does send your boat into a tailspin. And you guys come careening, flying, s- spinning like a hurricane, crash into the shore. Um, everyone on this landing, I'd like for you to make a deck save. Uh, where am I? Make a deck where save is too? Piggly in space right now? Piggly, you are <laughs> <you're> like <laughs> on the top of the roof. You're on the roof? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm on the ceiling. You're on the ceiling. You're going to be making this at a, at a disadvantage. Um, uh, Do seven? I have to make a deck save too? Yeah, uh, Helmsworth, yes you do. Actually, okay. Helmsworth, make a con um, save. Make a con save. A con save. Yeah. Um, it's got seven. I got fourteen. Okay. Oh, okay. Con uh-huh. saves are good for me. Uh-huh. That's fourteen's my favorite number. Eleven. Eleven. Bunny. Bunny. Oh. Eight. Okay. <laughs> um, Helmsworth, what'd you get in the con save? Uh, fifteen. All right. So as you guys crash into the shore. Um, Satine, you don't know there's a crash because your head cracks against the side of a desk and you go unconscious. Ooh. Pigly, you <laughs> flap the against back. the ground. All the wind is knocked out of you and then everything goes dark. <laughs> Bunny, you, you, as you're, as you're trying to find a place to brace yourself, you trip and fall and smash your head against the, against the side of the bed. <laughs> Dork, you are entangled against the side of the wall and you hold on. Helmsworth, what'd you roll in that con save again? I'm sorry. <laughs> 15. 15. All right. So I thought you you are about to black out from the G-forces, but you just managed to hold on. And you slam into the side of the boat. Is into Finnegan the... all right? You don't know, because now we're going on break. No! <laughs> hey! <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Thanks for that setup, so I could have a perfect way to yeah, that worked out. <laughs> So well, we what will... happened to Finnegan? <laughs> Tune in after the break. We'll be back in 50, in roughly 15 minutes. Everybody. We'll be back around. after these messages sponsored by the coldest water. Everyone's Everybody natural sponsor go on TikTok. Fun, go, fun, 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 go, go. <laughs> They're not my sponsor anymore. <laughs> oh, never mind. I take it They're, back. They are <laughs> not sponsoring this channel. Please don't be, actually take Be that back in a sec, guys. Wait, one sec.
I'm, I'm muted. Ah, <laughs> and we are back into it. Hello, Can everybody. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> we are back from break. Uh, everyone just, just make noise just so I make sure you, everyone can hear you. I uh, am Liz and I have hot chocolate in my chair spinning and I don't know why. That was very loud. Excellent. So, uh, <laughs> when we uh, last chocolate. left off, the boat was sent flying into the air, spinning, was knocked by a rock, and then landed on the beach in a massive kasploosh of water, sand, mud. Sploosh. <laughs> um, and if I remember correctly, Piggly, Bunny, and Satine were both knocked unconscious. Yes. Yes. Helmsworth was nearly knocked unconscious, but he was, but he remained stand, but he remained conscious, and as did Dorg. Who is so hot right now? Okay, right, so Dorg is like, oh my god, guys, I guess. Wait, what do you what do you think about Dorg? Wait, hey, 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 Bunny's also yeah, in the I'm unconscious plane. He's super unconscious right now. If yeah, I'm I think being honest, he's so hot right now. I know he's so hot right now. I mean, do you think I should say hi? Like, oh my god, say hi. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You guys are just having okay. a communal dream. To <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. What if we just like leave a note or like we tap and then run away? <laughs> if I muscles, mean, I... why no only fans? Yeah, we leave a note. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> if I remember correctly, uh, Helmsworth, you were asking if you could if you could see Finnegan. Uh, currently, yes. uh, it is hard to see Finnegan through the uh, dirt covered. Ice alcove, but you do see a hand resting on top of the of the of the wheel. It is hard to tell if he is conscious or not, though. Finnegan, <coughs> are you are you all right? No response. Uh, uh, Helmsworth kind of untangles himself. From these ropes, and he Slide kind of brushes of hand over. Check. <laughs> you, or at least he. Tr okay, I will say he tries to. In let's that case. let's see this. Let's You're see what you do first. Perpetually stuck. Uh, sleight of hand, right? Mm -hmm. Nine. 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 You are stuck. You were very secure during a massive storm, but uh. You, it's not going to be unsecure for quite some time, it seems. Uh, can I use can I get, use the shape water to get myself a knife to kind of, or actually no, can I use my shape water to make myself a little crowbar so I can wrench those pittons out of the thing? Uh, yes, you can try. Uh, you you take some water as you're feebly. Uh, you freeze it into a crowbar, um, and you t attempt to unjam the pittons in the ground. Strength check, please. I get advantage since it is a crowbar, and that's how they work. Uh, negate the advantage because you do not have full stanced up leverage, because you are restrained currently. Ah, uh, uh, damn. Uh, let me roll that again, because I did roll that with advantage, and I don't remember what the lower number was. <laughs> Because uh, I rolled really well on that second one, and I, that wouldn't be fair. Um, ooh, I rolled even better on that one. Okay. Uh, that'll be a 21. You undo the pitten, but this releases like a, a chain reaction effect of a whole bunch of the ropes, just like... And you fall. Uh, but you are free. Uh, back below okay. deck, Dork, you are conscious... Uh, the in after Bunny lost consciousness, you uh, the uh, entangled vines receded back from whence they came. Uh, you are you are like a little shaky, but you remain standing. Satine, Piggly, and Bunny though are unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her! She's so cute. Wake up, God woman! <laughs> Me? God woman? God woman. <laughs> <laughs> me? Oh, Shiny oh holy Oh, my God. Woman. Me? You were... Me? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Dork? <laughs> yeah, Satit, you wake up. Dork looking kind of hot, though. I don't realize. I'm like, <laughs> Dork? <laughs> Dork, the gray-skinned half-orc, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's my type, Hell baby. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so am I am I am I awake? You are caught. You do you do wake up though you have lost twenty health points. 
Oh. Zoinks, as they say. <laughs> Zoinks, Scoob. Zoinks, baby. Oh, that leaves me with eight <laughs> health, Zoinks. bro. Um, all right. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm. Because I hit my head right on a desk. Ooh, that's not gonna. Yeah, that's you, not gonna look you. On a desk, you are like. Cracked it again. I've also have done that in Tokyo, Japan. Um. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at him. And be like, ask him what happened. What happened? What happened? Are you asking me? Mm-hmm. Something hit my ship. I'm not sure what it was. Is everyone still alive? Am I bleeding? Am I... Yes. I cast I uh, uh, cure, first level cure wounds on Satine. All right. Uh, where's my D8? I'm bleeding a lot. I don't like blood. Six plus. Where's my spell casting? I really don't like blood. The cleric who's afraid of blood. <laughs> yes. Great career choice. <laughs> like, I really don't like... As a cleric, you never see blood. Never. Where's my spellcasting ability modifier? I really don't like your spellcasting ability mm. modifier would be your charisma plus your proficiency. That's exactly what I was doing in Tokyo, Japan. Just like Plus my totally proficiency? Okay, uh, so... Mm. Six plus three, five... Eleven. She get, regains eleven hit points. Right. It is okay. That's okay. I see. Thank you. I, have I stopped bleeding? Mm. All right, back on up. your feet, shiny journal stealing woman. I'm, 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 I'm turning. Again, am I still bleeding? Is it? She's no longer bleeding, but there's a there's a scar there is a scar that goes right up into her hairline. Ah, oof. Do I look okay? Mm, still not good enough to fight. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run over to Piggly. Cause I, I, do I see Piggly? Yeah, you see Piggly. Like, uh, Bunny and Piggly are, are still visible, but they are also visibly unconscious. Uh, so I'm going to right, run over to Piggly and be like, I'm going to try to, like, gently, like, the shoulder tap. Like, do, you taught CPR, the, the are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, Piggly, make a constitution saving throw. Gotta see my boy. Uh, Twenty-four. Uh, you're built different, and you wake up. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> That's been happening a lot lately. Uh, you, you have lost ten points of health, Piggly, from that. No, I'm in, he hasn't. I'm in, I'm in some amount of pain. I don't know if it was from the ship or from his nuts. His balls of actual steel. Yours <laughs> just has wrecking balls. <laughs> I'm gonna what cast. Wrecking, what wrecking balls? He wrecked my balls. <laughs> I'm gonna cast a first level cure wounds on Piggly. All right. My D8. Where is it? There it is. Um. Eight plus three. Eleven. 11. <laughs> 11, I'm back to max. Nice. Chat, chat, I can't mention Populi. We haven't met anyone new yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Um, but, uh, is any... The only oh, yeah, can I run over to Bunny, too? Right. I got Bunny. <laughs> yeah, she's Bunny. She's Bunny. Bunny's passed out. I'm gonna be like, Bunny? Tom, and then I'll do the Tom same, like... Comically hanging from her mouth in the wrong <laughs> I'll do the are you okay, the shoulder thing again. Uh, bunny, constitution saving throw. Oh, oh 10. 10? Uh, ten. <laughs> bunny, you are not able to wake. You imagine yourself back with the all tree. Uh, Your uh, mother frantically bunny. trying to wake you up. Bunny! Bunny, uh. dearest, wake up! <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to wake up. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm having the best dream right now. I'm, I'm going to turn to Dorg and be like, you want to take this? <laughs> you wake up the gnome. All right. right. I lumber over and draw in a deep, very deep breath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Wake up, tiny person! Performance check, please. <laughs> All right. Oh boy, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> What's your roll? Uh, nineteen. Ooh. Nineteen. Oh, so good. That's gonna be bad. Oh, nineteen's good. What are you talking? It's gonna about? be loud. I no, think that's what he was referring to. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Bunny, if you had ears, they would have clipped the. If you had a microphone, it would have clipped the volume. Uh, uh, as you like, wake uh, up. I want to be so stormed on it. What? <gasps> what? Uh, does this does this raucous shout reach the top deck? Uh, yes, it does. You do hear this. And as for someone asking, would this not be intimidation? I don't know. You try intimidating someone awake. <laughs> I don't think they could perceive the intimidation. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the explosive belt from the low deck, Helmsworth. You notice. Yes, Gorg is awake and alive, very much so. Uh, does Finnegan, does I, because I can see Finnegan's hand, does, uh, does the hand react in any way? No. Okay, I'm, I want to see if I can go in, and, uh, unless we're not at my scene yet. Um, we can go back. We'll go back, we're going to go back below deck for a bit. Uh, alright, buddy, you awake? How many, uh... I'm awake. Bunny, you have lost 15 have? points of health. Man, my head hurts. You don't look great. Oh. I cast Lay on Hands on Bunny. All right. Lay them hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thorg respectfully touches the tiny person with consent. Yes, consent. <laughs> consent. Which admittedly is difficult because she's like one square foot in surface area. <laughs> it's a finger. It's like head pat. It's like, oh wow, Dorg's mighty embrace. Wow. <laughs> wow. How much does she feel for? Oh my gosh, uh, she's so 15. lucky. I suddenly so feel so much better. Oh my god. <laughs> His hand is on my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Bunny, you say you heal Bunny for 15? Yes. All right, Bunny, you heal 15. I'm back to better. Thank you, large man. <laughs> All right, everyone is everyone is up below deck. What do you do? Oh, um, I guess. We Wait, should... actually, since she got hit, would her concentration on entangle have been? Yeah, down? yeah, it already came yeah. down. Yeah, it already came down. Okay, okay. Oh, God. I'm gonna run over to the door, get that javelin out. I want to go up top of deck as soon as I can. All right. So, uh, Satine, as you grab the javelin, it it turns to dust. Uh, it, it is. It was on its last legs, and it just, it just throw that out there. Open the de open the doors. You go up top. I'm gonna assume the the party follows suit. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you come up the top deck, uh, and you 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 look at the top and uh, Dorg. You are surprised to see that your masts are missing, um, as are a majority of the cannons. Um, and, uh... My ship! <laughs> and you... But you do see that Finnegan is still there. Uh, but he does not look... Finnegan is still there? He is currently encased That's... in ice. One limp arm holding onto the steering wheel. Okay, I go up to him and I... I swing my greatsword at the ice. Oh, wait, uh, wait, wait, hold on. I'm all, wait, am I not there? You're there. It's like, I was like, what, do I not have any agency in this? You can try I to stop I You can try I to stop I feel like him. I would have had a chance to get to Finnegan before all of this happens. Like, hey, 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 hey. Oh, hold on. Do hold you, on there, sir. You better move fast. <laughs> Dork, I'm, I'm just going to drop it. It's going for I'm just going to... I'm just dispelling the, the ice. He's just gonna slowly come down. Uh, Dorg, do you stop your swing? You're like, Hurr. you see the ice is coming. Uh, up. does this does the water start melting before I swing? Yes, it does. It okay, should. Yeah. I, I should have gotten there before yeah, yeah, you. 
Uh, Helmsworth, you begin to just chuck off the 50 feet of rope that is tangled around you. Everybody, you're now up top of the deck. Finnegan, uh, upon the ice melting away, he is not conscious in the slightest, and he falls back. Uh, Can I run to catch him? Yes, you may. So he doesn't uh, fall. Run. You Helmsworth he... kind of looks around at the destruction, and he's just like, another happy landing. <laughs> You should yell again. That might help. Wake him up. Good idea. Finnegan! Performance. Performance check, please. So hold this man in my arms. Uh, 16. 16? You yell, and it's a pretty damn good yell. Like, it's loud. Um, Finnegan barely stumbles awake and he, he comes to life in your arms Satine he stands up he goes oh my god oh that was one hell of a storm did we all make it we did we didn't know about the rest well, of them but... like well let's see Tiki where are you where are you oh no <laughs> <laughs> I forgot <laughs> I'm assuming that she would have gone. Uh, she's just, she's I, she is a hummingbird, and hummingbirds are pretty smart. So she would have gone. Their brain is so small. They're not smart <laughs> enough. They are, quite, they are quite smart though, for the for the size of their just brain. Just trying to retcon his bird not staying in the storm. <laughs> I'm sorry, homie. <laughs> oh no! Tiki is nowhere to be found. I was like Tiki, Tiki. I mean, he just kind of, he just, he kind of realizes that she, pro that she probably could, wouldn't have abandoned him, him below deck. And he just kind of sinks to his knees and he's like, no, no, love me. And, like, and you can just see, you can just see the tears welling up in his eyes. It's just like, so, but, so, but I did everything. Uh, Pig, Piggly will go over and, and kind of pat him. And just be like, you know, she might not be dead. <laughs> Helmsworth doesn't even Helmsworth doesn't even, <laughs> Helmsworth doesn't even respond to that. Emotional support. Have to pay really. respects to Tiki. <laughs> you guys are, can we get some hashtag Tiki in chat, everyone? Hashtag find Tiki in chat. Find please. Tiki. Um, so. Uh, Finnegan, Finnegan, though, comes over and goes, All right, let's go check on the rest of the crew. Uh, you go down, uh, down below deck, and you notice that even despite your best efforts, um, you've done a lot to protect the ship, Helmsworth. But there was just a moment where you just couldn't hold on enough, and there was a massive rock dug straight into the side of the hull, cracking straight through. As you guys go down, though, you do notice that every single passenger aboard the boat is alive. Every single person is breathing and well. Wow. Harbinger did keep his promise. Uh, so. Dork wants it on the record that I didn't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not all alive, are we? So. <laughs> No, because we all have the good sense to have legs, not wings. <laughs> Take that. Uh, no, Make no, me. Back. Boys. I, uh, I, I cast calm emotions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you uh, to be calm. <laughs> Remind me what that does, uh, Bunny. Uh, I think we have to make some saving throws. Him Calm and I. emotions. You attempt to suppress strong emotions in a group of people, each humanoid in a 20 foot. Oh. Mm. A sphere centered on a point you choose within range. Make a charisma saving throw. Oh, uh, charisma saving throw, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. What's the, what's the DC <laughs> for that? That would be your spell save DC. That's yours. Oh, mine? Yeah. Oh, it is. 14. Yeah, no. All right, I am, I am peachy keen. I rolled an 18, so I'm just going to say to my, I just, I just kind of absorb the magical energy a bit. Doesn't really affect me. 
I rolled 18 plus 5, 23. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Bunny's like, just calm but, down, okay? Bunny's Bunny starts, Bunny starts, <laughs> Bunny starts going like, oh, oh wait, down south. <laughs> <Starts playing laughs> it, just turns in, it just turns into battle background <laughs> music. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why won't you calm down? <laughs> 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 Calm. Start, uh, Calm. starts spitting his staff. He's like, Tiki was the only friend I ever had. No wonder. I'll be your friend. Oh. Holmes like, oh, oh, Helmsworth, Helmsworth 100% takes that to heart. And he's going he's gonna, oh. he's gonna, to he's gonna fire off a, a chaos of bolt. At, at the party? At your party member? Yeah, at, at door he he angie. Alrighty. Oh, he angie. He insulted. He insulted <laughs> the only friend he ever, the only friend he could ever really rely oh, on. Can I? Can I? Can I, can I jump in? Can I jump in front of that? Oh. <gasps> yes. No. Can you, everyone stop? Too Wait. Piggly, Piggly's, gonna, Piggly's gonna jump in front of that. All right. Make your attack, Helmsworth. All right. Um. <laughs> Wait. Does he need to cast? Uh, Chaos bolt verbally. Uh, I do. <laughs> yes. Can I cast command before he does? You can you use that as a reaction? Uh, I. Okay. No. Then never mind. Then no. I was about to say I'm definitely sure that I was casting chaos. Bolt yeah. No. I think cast was... command. Uh, let's see. What do I? What do I roll for my good old? This is. This is. This is gonna. Uh... Well, I rolled a twenty. Um. A twenty-one. Yeah. A twenty-one zing. So I need to roll. Yeah. I need to roll twenty-one. No, 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 no. You no, no, no. no. I, that no, hits I... me. <laughs> that hits Piggly. What? Piggly, you jump in front of the of the bolt. You take the damage. Oh no! <laughs> uh, Piggly. Wait, why would Piggly take damage? Wouldn't it be that I'm trying to hit Door? No, no, I no. no he jumps in front of it. Piggly uses his reaction to jump in front of it. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Well, I allowed it. <laughs> I, do, I, do I still get a reaction? You get a reaction. What would you like to do? I cast command on you Helmsworth. You can't do that as a reaction. You can't, yeah. you can only do it as an action. <laughs> you can do it as your action okay. like after he goes. Look, Helmsworth, roll damage. All right, let me roll my two. I'm just like, I'm going to turn Bunny around so she doesn't have to see it. <laughs> She's like, still no, just Bunny. strumming Bunny. <laughs> 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 Like, no, Bunny, you don't want to do it. I'm just going to okay, watch from the sidelines. so side that is line. going to be... Um, I want a video of my reaction. 13 psychic damage. 13 psychic damage, Piggly. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> um, also... It hits me mid-jump, and I just kind of roll in the Yeah, you sand. just... You get slammed into the corner. Helmsworth. This is not the beach episode we wanted. Helmsworth, roll a d100. Oh, roll a d100. Eh? Oh, uh oh. <laughs> I cannot uh, stand. Oh, this. oh, this is. What'd you roll? Let me. I'll One... describe what happens. Uh, Just tell me the I rolled. Oh, <laughs> I rolled a 95. Uh, Can someone everybody... put my reactions to the Wii theme? Because I feel like it really fits right now. <laughs> uh, so, after this, after Helmsworth casts the spell, he loses control of his staff a little bit. He uses to cast his spells, and, and when he loses his grip, magic splurts from his from his hand, and this bolt, this, this like, force ruptures out of him. And all of you just, ah! You feel, uh, you feel a little tender. Yeah. You feel a little like, like, like it's like e e e everything hurts a little bit more. Everything's a little bit more sensitive. Everything, everything hurts. I yeah. think oh, I'm nice. getting a sunburn. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> um. Upon hearing what's going on down here, though, uh, Finnegan comes down and goes, "All right, all right. What is going on here? What happened?" I still cast like, command. This man, like this yes, you, man. Wait, 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 Dorg. What would you want to do? 
Can I still can I still cast command? Yes. As soon as you get asked what's going on, you make an outcast command. Okay. I cast command on Helmsworth. All right. Okay. I what's am the save? probably not gonna. Pa I'm probably not gonna pass that. But uh, right. what is the save? Just looking Wait, is here. it like uh, I think it's charisma or is it wisdom? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, wisdom, I think. Oh yeah, no, I definitely don't make it. Don't even bother looking it up. I got a five. All right, you may now issue Helmsworth. Yeah, as Finnegan goes, what is going on? You may now issue Helmsworth a one-word command. Silence. You find it. <laughs> <laughs> you are silenced. You may not until talk. the end of the next round, anyway. Yeah. Finnegan <laughs> comes down and goes, "All right, are we done fighting? If you all would like to fight." You may fight outside, not in my damn ship. What the hell happened to the hull? And Finnegan comes over to the it's... massive rock currently jutting through. Oh my god. This blue suited Birdman not only attacked his crew member, he destroyed half the ship. All right, all I'm right, the reason hold on. why we were even. You're silent, bro. You're silent. You're silent. You're silent. Silent. Bop, 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 bop. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, bop, boop, bop, boop. Finnegan turns to you and goes, All right, that man saved the damn ship, Dork. If without him, I would have been sent careening into the skies and probably been struck by 37 lightning bolts. More importantly, he prevented the ship from crashing into the coals. Did you not notice that we did our somersault through the air? Without him, we would have died. But now you have a suit to do me. With him, Piggly almost died. I remembered his name, finally. Oh, that's <laughs> nice of you. Thank you. And listen, I'm going to turn Bunny welcome, back around. Tiny one. And Bunny, now you can look. <laughs> your your blue-suited booby. Listen. If you would like to... Your, your little bird friend... I understand that you are upset that it is missing. But knowing Harbinger, and the Harbingers I've dealt with in the past, Tiki would have been considered a patron of the boat. However, there's a chance that Tiki may have flown off the boat upon our landing. There's a chance that, that she's on the boat or somewhere on the island. She's not dead, Helmsworth. See, I told you. Yay! <laughs> now. I'm gonna fit. I'm gonna, okay, yeah. Helmsworth, you're, you're, you feel your vocal cords returning to normal. He has been spinning his staff this whole time. Oh my god. Because like, he was getting ready. But then upon hearing that like Tiki's probably alive somewhere, he's just kind of like, he kind of realizes the situation he's in. He's just kind of like, he just kind of, he just kind of, st he stops. Now, we have some serious problems. I don't know if any of you were paying attention in, in geography class when you were younger. Dorg, I don't know if you attended geography class. But what we can certainly say is we are finally at the archipelago. Now notice how I say archipelago. That means multiple islands. And we are down a ship. What's geography? <laughs> <laughs> Pronounces it wrong even though he hears him pronounce it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why did he pronounce it wrong, even though he's never seen it in text? Uh, Flip it. So, um, now we need to get off of this boat, make a landing crew, aka okay, you three, or you five. I will stay and keep watching the ship to make sure that nothing comes and scavenges our our, our prize boat, the Lady Shawshank. There's got to be some intelligent life on this on this island. Find them. See if they can help us rebuild our boat. I'm so peeved. I'm gonna like br go ahead of everyone and like brush straight past Finnegan and be like, just silently like speed walk away to like go find this intelligent life. Mm -hmm. Just down the beach. <laughs> oh, I am gonna use prestidigitation to drive. She goes down the beach so. and Dorg downs a glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, Bunny, Piggly, what do you two? What do you two do, Bunny? Bunny. Is, it a, is it a for the fireball mug? I. I, I think my stream glitched yeah. out for part of that. I, I missed, like, what what's going on here. <laughs> okay, Finnegan came in and said, Daddy's yes. home. Yes. Stop, stop fighting children. Yes. Um, and then he was like, we, we need to repair the boat. 
find okay. some intelligent life to help us repair the boat. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, can I start walking to see if there's like mm, uh, any wood, like a forest, anything? Can gather some sticks or something. Uh, so you're being get... raided. We're being raided. How we're being raided. Oh, we're being Hi, raided. Tell us with your party of seven. Thank you for showing hey! up. We appreciate it. Every hey! viewer is a viewer yeah. loved. Hello, uh, raiders. Uh, but you, uh, as you guys go topside and you raiders. actually give yourselves a look around of the of the island that you find yourselves in, you find yourselves on a glorious beach, quite not quite dissimilar to the one that Helmsworth is currently in front of in his Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> um, Helmsworth just, just turns sideways so that we may see her glorious beach. Just, yeah. just, just, back, yeah. Yeah, back, yeah, just, just, yeah. <laughs> wow, incredible, fantastic. Beautiful. Spring break! Uh, yes, Spring break, bro! <laughs> <laughs> you, got, and, uh, you guys turn to see, uh, on the beach, you see a glorious forest, forested area. Um... Filled with palm trees and, and 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 the like and trees and whatnot. Uh, did did we lose Marcus? I think we might have lost Marcus. Hey, Marcus. He's I'll just be, standing so still incredibly again. still. I was, yeah, did he? Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, hey. Was hey. Maybe. Marcus, how much uh, of that yeah. did you Max. miss? I promise. I missed like maybe thirty seconds at most. Probably. Okay. Well, you missed, uh, so as you guys go topside to look at the beach, it looks kind of like what Helmsworth is in front of right now in his zoom screen. It is quite, it is lush, it is a bright, brilliant beach. Lots of trees, lots of palm trees, lots of, of, of foliage and wood. Uh, what do you do? How, where is the nearest route inland? Uh, you look and you see that the the forest is thick. It's gonna be a bit of a bushwhack. Apologize <laughs> <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> what do you guys do? Uh... I head directly towards the thickest part of the brush and pull up my great sword. I'll follow him. All right. Oh, he's angry again. <laughs> Doric and Zatine, the best team there ever was. Pigley, do you go off the boat with them? <laughs> She's got the brains, and I've got the no brains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to kind of wander around the beach to see if Popley's around. No, baby, no. I want to help Piggly no. the baby. Baby. Poppy's not oh, there, oh, baby. Oh. Baby, no. <laughs> what do you do? I am going to sit here and see if... if uh, I'm going to see if Tiki is going to come back at all. I know you guys t I know you guys are talking shit about hummingbirds, but a hummingbird's brain is larger in comparison to their body size than any other bird. I've they never seen someone that doesn't mean it's big. I've never seen someone so offended by a fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've seen I've seen people. Oh, we've seen them. Uh, but uh We've talked about my height, example one. Dork, Satine, um don't mind a DM reaching for their notebooks. Oh. Nothing. While we're walking, can oh I <laughs> I'm gonna walk with Dork and be like, who was she? Is he lagged out again? Oh, oh no! He's gone. <laughs> Dork is just <laughs> <was intentional>. He <laughs> was out, bro. He doesn't want to hear that. Okay, who do we think she is? All right, yeah. Plus place bets. Sister or friend? Oh. Who do you? Mm. <laughs> oh wait, I got this. This is a song for Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Take that down! I don't want to get copyrighted. Not too long. Oh. Not too long. No, only three seconds. Only three don't seconds. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I didn't go for too long. Wait, when Marcus comes back. Wait, can Mar when Marcus comes back, can you play that? Oh yay! <laughs> oh, the the child. The yeah, the cheering. child. Yeah. 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 The child. The child. <laughs> no. <laughs> Destroy no. the child. <laughs> oh wait, well, dude, that is better than any internet video I will ever make, and that saddens me. 
I'm writing a thesis on TikTok and better than my thesis. He's back. Hey! Hit it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get. No. <laughs> no. Dork! Is he, is he actually back, music? though? Yeah. There he is. Back. Oh my god, he's back I'm and back. he's hotter yeah. than back. ever. I'll let Helm. Helmsworth. Dork, stop! Where'd you go? <laughs> Dork, this is your theme song now. Play yeah, no, song. I, I'm gonna, I'll be on the, I'll be on the ship, and I'll let out a, uh, a loud whistle, to try and get to, to and see if the, just to try and get Tiki to come back. Attention. Performance check. Oh, uh, can that not be animal handling? <laughs> since I'm calling her back. Sure. That I was about to say, you made me change one of my things to animal handling. I'm, I better get some damn <laughs> I use better get to use it. I better get to handle some animals. <laughs> okay. 23. Not a euphemism. <laughs> Not at all. You call. Yeah, 23. Uh, you wait for a bit. Nothing. But where are you on the on this boat? Are you still on the boat? Uh, I'm going to go like. Uh, where I'll are you right now? Are you still on the boat or on the shore? Uh, I am on the boat right now, yes. All right. As you are on the boat, after your whistle, you notice from underneath the sand. Uh, <laughs> fucking mouse. Uh, you notice <laughs> from underneath the sand, uh, you, you start seeing uh, the sand shake and shift. And rumble, Cover Cover and it. you notice as this crab, this absolute unit of a crab, <laughs> emerges so from the sand. Pincers at the ready. Roll initiative, everybody. Oh yeah! Someone in chat, play the crab rave. Play crab rave. <laughs> play crab rave. <laughs> Hold on. Oh wait, I got it. I got. It. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. I got it. I got it. You got this. Run. Ah, uh, jeez. I should have been. I should have been prepared. You I should have been prepared, prepared. But I got my. I got my crab deck. Oh. Uh. There it is. It's so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cut the music. I don't want to get copyright strike. I don't want to get copyright strike. <laughs> Isn't crab rave like royalty free now? I have no idea. And, and we're not, not gonna risk it. I don't, I don't wanna, know if it, I don't I don't know if it technically is, but people usually don't get DMCA'd over it. Yeah. I was about to say, the people- PewDiePie uses it like all the time. I, yeah, and but I'm not PewDiePie. <laughs> and not, none of us are PewDiePie. Someone in chat better clip that moment. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So as this okay. crab emerges, Dorg, Satine, you guys are at the edge of the forest. You guys turn around and notice that it is 20 feet to the south. Uh, uh, Bunny and Pigsley, you guys are 30 feet to the east of this crab. And Helmsworth, you are 30 feet to the southeast of this massive crab. And the cr time to roll uh, initiative, everybody. 17. Uh, <laughs> one right. plus two equals three. Oh. One plus one equals two, <laughs> actually. Sorry. <laughs> Two. <laughs> one plus one equals two. Okay, I thought you everybody. said one plus two. I thought you said one plus two equals three. That's what I heard, but apparently that's but not I was what my, that's not my initiative. Okay, everybody, let's um if you got twenty or above. You twenty or above? Okay. Nope. Fifteen and above. I got a fifteen. Seventeen here. Okay. Um that would be okay, this would be Dorg. Oh. <laughs> Ten <laughs> and above. Oh, 11. Yes, uh, me. Okay. Mm, bunny. <laughs> uh, five and above. Six. One and above. <laughs> Two, baby. Wow. <laughs> Satine, you were too busy staring at Dorg's muscles as he was about to swim. I'm like, wait, cra Dorg! <laughs> <laughs> All right. And thus begins combat. <laughs> Dorg, you are up first. All right. I close the distance between myself and the crab. Yes, you can. Okay. Let me see here. 
I will strike at it with my great sword, and I will use uh, uh, where is my? I'm looking for my abilities. My extra attack ability, as well. Attack and an extra attack. Yes. All right. So roll to hit. Okay. Where is that? So that'd be your D twenty. We'll do it with the twenty. D twenty. Add your strength modifier and your proficiency bonus. Okay. Ten your plus attack four modifier. plus seventeen. Uh. All right. So you take out your great sword and you go for a nice hefty swing at the, one of the crabs, little like chinks in its crabby legs, and you manage to hit. Roll damage. Okay. Plus Crab two legs for dinner. Six. Yum. That's two d six. <laughs> five and five, ten, and also, I will use my. You can also what add, you My also, when you roll damage, you add your strength modifier to the damage. Okay, so 10 plus 4, okay. uh, 14. Please and I will anyway. use Divine Smite to expend a spell slot uh, for 2d8 extra radiant damage, which is, where are my d8s here? First level, okay. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Great. So 16 oh. damage. 16 damage, baby. Uh, Snake eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, you you take you go you 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 call on the wrath of the sea for the swing, um, and as you swing you uh, you slam on it, but uh, it, it seems as though it seems as though it, it, the the ocean the ocean's wrath tries to pierce the armor, but it kind of just whoosh, brushes off. Uh, but you may now make your next attack, as you have extra attack. Roll to hit. Okay, then I'll swing again. Uh, 11 plus 4 plus 18. 18. You hit. Mm -hmm. All right. Double D5s. Double D6s. 6 and 3. 9 plus 4. 13. 13. All right. So you make you take another... A big ol' swing swing. Uh, and you, you once again cleave right into that arm. Right into that little crabby leg, I mean. By the way, this is considered a huge beast. So it is about 15 feet tall. 15 to 20 feet tall. It is, a, it is quite a big, big crab. Giant big enemy crab. crab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did that come from? <laughs> a giant enemy crab. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder where did it come from? News at eleven. A giant enemy crab has been seen attacking Wisconsin. <laughs> Back to you, Dorg. Um. All right. Uh, that would bring us to Helmsworth. All right. Uh, I am going to. I'm first going to use my uh my good old my good old uh. What's it called? Uh, I'm trying to find. Oh yeah, my meta magic. Yes, I will use that to quicken spell. So and then I'm gonna cast a Ginkiest. It's gonna be it's gonna be incredible. You you're not gonna believe it. <laughs> uh, I'll cast uh, Chrome. I'll cast Chaos Bolt at the third level. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is uh, he angie? He angie. Uh, angie. He angie. You have third level spells right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sorcerer. Fuck me! Why didn't Cassie you use magic to oh stop the God. damage to my ship? <laughs> <laughs> she did. He pleaded with the God of the Cave <laughs> to try, <laughs> but I said no. So yeah, that's gonna be a um, a twenty four to hit. Yeah, that hits. That hits this crab. Okay, this crab turns around and we got a damage, Mr. on its leg. Let's see how much damage Mr. Crab takes. Uh, all right. Uh, is this Mr. Krabs? Mm -hmm. no, no, this is not Mr. Krabs. This is not. Mr. Krabs. Are you sure? I am <laughs> almost positive this is not Mr. Krabs. And then I'll finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. <laughs> That's so good, Marcus. <laughs> 
Someone put that. Someone put that. Someone put that. That was so good. The Krabby Patty oh, secret right. so formula. Uh, and then I get to add. Helmsworth is busy bringing two. up his Excel spreadsheet to calculate damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> busy cross-referencing uh, the uh, Pythagoras theorem. Yeah, yuck it, yuck it up, knuckleheads. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be eighteen lightning damage. Eighteen oh, lightning damage. So an angry Helmsworth whips out his staff. Swings a massive bolt of energy that quickly, upon being just regular, looks like magic, coalesces into lightning and strikes this crab straight in the face. Roll and it does a hoofy eighteen. Okay. And that's not that's not it. That's not the end of my turn because uh, I use quicken spell, so that was my bonus action. Oh. As my action, I will cast frostbite. It now has to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, okay. Doing quick I doesn't imagine all this happening while Crabbrick is playing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Just like brutal fight. And it's like... Oh, yeah. That save. Okay. Uh, are you sure? What'd you, what, what's the con what save? What'd it Uh, the con save would be 15. Oh, yeah, yeah, it fails. That's what I thought. Uh, so it will be taking the brunt of 2d6 cold damage. My god. Of which it takes Chilly. 11 cold damage. Am I going to get a chance to hit this thing? So yeah, no. Uh, where Possibility, he ain't. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> How much damage? I know. Oh, I felt class. I'm cold damage. How much? <laughs> And it. also, it has disadvantage on its next weapon attack roll before oh it, it makes before the end of its Bruh. next turn. Oh, how much damage did you do? I did keep missing it. Eleven. Eleven. Thank you. Eleven. My God. And it also has disadvantage on its next attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. Okay. Bunny, you turn around and notice there is a crab who just. So <laughs> Hellsworth just whips a lightning bolt right from the storm itself, just <laughs> explodes in the face of the crab. And then is with the butt end of his staff turns around and sprays this ice beam at it. Um, and the crab's like, Aah! and uh, what do you do? Wow! <laughs> 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 Ooh, uh, that's awesome! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna blind it. I'm gonna kick it while it's down. I'm gonna blind it. All right. <laughs> How, do <you> do? <laughs> How do you plan on doing this, bunny? Um, by using blindness slash deafness, um, they have to, oh, let's see. You can see within a range to make a con, oh, they have to make a constitution saving throw, I think. All right. Yes. Uh, does a 14 make it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, 14 is my spell save DC. Meets it or beats it, so it succeeds. Yay. Uh, no, no, that's bad. No, it's bad. Oh. <laughs> oh no! I was gonna be so useful. Oh. So you play it's okay, this... sometimes you roll low. I'm familiar. I'm used to that. I'm rolling much better than I normally do. You you roll a co you you go down to try and blind it, and the crab just is like laughs at me. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> um. Oh, now, it's, now it is crab's turn. Crab is going yeah. to uh, Crab is going to try and attack um, the guy who struck his legs, and he's gonna he's gonna try and, and slap you. Rick, uh, does have disadvantage Mr. Crab. Uh, well, does that this me? is its first attack. It doesn't have disadvantage for all of these. No, just for that one. Okay, so it makes one swing, and door, you just duck underneath it. You're like, I'm I fit fought much tougher things than you. Uh, what's your armor class? Uh, uh, 11. 11? Wait, 11? Yeah. What are you wearing? Ch Chainmail. It's 16, dude. Uh, wrong. Oh, sorry, yes, you're right, 16. I didn't click. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, what are you wearing? Pants? That's I it. I did not click it wearing? on yeah. in yeah, totally yeah. not sponsored website that I'm using this on. Oh my god, okay. 
Well, it does. Mean, it does. It does actually hit you with this sixteen. Giant. Sorry to say. Um, and it grabs you in between its mighty pincers. And I need more dice. Uh oh. Take your time. <laughs> this doesn't hurt at all. Take the. Uh -huh. You take 21 bludgeoning damage as this claw oh. grabs oh. you and crunches oh. you. And you are now grappled in its Careful. claw. For the record, I now have 26 hit points out of my 49. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cleric. <laughs> um, Pigley, your turn. Uh, I would like to rage. All right. And then instead of my tail... Long fangs are going to grow, and I have a bite attack now. Oh, my. And I'm going to go approach and attack with my bite. All right. So, Bunny, you look as as what <laughs> your sweet little boy, Piggly, just all of a sudden go, <laughs> and he grows like, like fangs like a big baboon, these massive incisors. Neat. <laughs> uh what what at, would you say this is what was this like a wolf like thing? Do you go like a snout like a wolf head? For for the fangs, yeah, I'll grow like a snout. Not normally as much, probably. Uh, okay, no. yeah. Boop the snoot. Boop the snoot. It would be cute if it wasn't terrifying to watch happen. Uh, twenty five to hit. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> At this point, you're looking up at this crab. The lightning bolt and frost absolutely decimated part of its shell. Um, it's it, One of its legs is badly injured. Uh, go for it, Piggly. Uh, I'll just bite and latch onto the leg. All right, roll for damage. Nine damage, and then I regain HP equal to my constitution modifier with my thing. <laughs> So you watch this pig crab legs, baby. I told you. You watch this piggly just goes like ah, <laughs> bites straight through the hardened carapace, chews it off, grinds it, and swallows. Uh, you have an extra then, attack, don't you? Yep. Uh, twenty-three to hit for seven damage. All right. And I regain HP. So once again, you ju you jump again, and you this time you 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 watch this thing. It's it's actually quite weakened by all of this all of these attacks. You you know you once it you bite at it, and this time as you dig into it, you uh, rip off its leg, and it falls to the ground. <laughs> the um, it is still it is still alive though, and it is still gripping Gorg in its claw. Satine, your turn. Okay. Um, question for you. Yeah. My dear DM, is my ring a bonus action? Yes. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I want to do this. Is Dork still in? Do you said Dork is still in the pinchers, right? Dork is still in the claw. I'm not saying I'm gonna do this. You do not say I'm gonna do this. If I were, to, let's say, cast reduce on Dork, would he just fall through the claw? <laughs> One Why not us. cast enlarge One on Dork? Because then he can't get out. Maybe he would. Would he burst through? Don't you get like advantage on straight strength checks or something know. when you're enlarged? Um, you... Maybe he would. Maybe he would. <laughs> <laughs> if, no, if, okay, so no, 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 no. It's enlarge is if there isn't enough room to target to double its size. The creature or object attains the maximum possible size in the space available. Bro, he's not gonna. He's gonna be like what this much bigger. <laughs> like, does does, does, does door get a say on how big? He <laughs> but is he gonna but, say like, on where this thing goes? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. I don't want to do that because I don't think it's gonna work. I just want everyone to know that's probably that was a pretty clever thing that I thought of. Okay, that's why I got my book out. It was almost there. It was almost noted. It was it. Liz thinks outside the box. Anyways, um, I'm still twenty feet away because I'm like Dorg's muscles are so great. Um, but I think I'm just gonna run up, and I'm gonna cast inflict wounds second level. All right, roll to hit. God, please work. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Let's go. Nice. Ah, oh, 40 10. 40 10. We love Liz. Liz is great. Yee ha ha. All right. 
Seven plus, no one do the math. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Seven plus four equals 11. 11. Five, 16. Oh. 420. 20 damage. All right. So Satine, you roll up. What, how do you, what is your arcane focus to cast spells? Or do you just use your hands? I use my hands. All right, so you you do some. Remember, it's, it's not like other magic, yeah, because I'm not like. Oh right, see, like, I thought you would. Wouldn't you have like a holy symbol or something? I think a holy symbol are her earrings. Yeah, she the she the earrings are like, yeah. and she's not like. No, so Satine, you do <laughs> as you do this, your hand just gets engulfed in this thick, goopy, disgusting ooze, and you 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 reach out for a grab, and you as you dig that hand through. This ooze latches on, and cr like like thick oil dug straight from the ground starts to eat away at the at the carapace of this crab, and it begins to eat all the way through, climbing up farther and farther over the crab until it crumbles in back into the ooze, and the combat is over. Ah, <sighs> uh, I'm gonna run over to Dorg, and see if he's okay. Helmsworth jumps off of the ship, off of the, like the bow of the ship, and as he like kind of goes down, he's like, "Are you feeling it now, Mister Crab?" <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cast um, first level cure wounds on Dork. All right. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Ow. Uh, six. Six. Uh, <laughs> I tried. Did you add your spell cast a modifier? Oh, no, I didn't. Um, uh, nine. <laughs> okay. I tried, buddy. So, uh, so I got to 35 hit points now. Wait, what is your... Are you sure that's correct, Satine? I think you should... It's You, it's, you cast with wisdom, correct? I did. I rolled a three... And it's a D8, so then it's plus three. Okay. Oh, oh, three plus three, and then you add your proficiency. The modifier, which makes sense. Oh, okay, right. okay, I was confused. Apologies. Sorry. Just making sure we were healing him for enough as he could. Satine, <laughs> uh, uh, heal. Satine comes over, this not like other girls, her ear, uh, and touches your shoulder. <laughs> Debbie Ryan's it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and you feel the cracked ribs inside of you, Dorg, just get set back into place. You feel much better. Thank you. Oh, Satine. Oh. You alright? Dorg will be fine. Just need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at that, uh, Finnegan comes over overboard and goes, what the bloody hell was that? Dinner! He looks at the pile of ooze and goes, I don't think dinner anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, but, you know, it's, sometimes you... It's um, not what it seems. Well, uh, he did quite that there quite handedly. <sighs> uh, it's not what it looks like. We were just... I was about to chop through bushes with my big sword and then a, a bunch of crabs showed up and then... I see that. Oh, singular crab. Nobody <laughs> take that out of context, please. <laughs> Dorka, that letter I handed you. Yes, I, I pull it out of my pocket and I hand it to him. Thank you. He opens it up. He goes, I think everyone should hear this. I don't even know what it's supposed to say. Dear crew. This with her journal is so on point. <laughs> <laughs> Dear crew, I'm sure you all have your own interests on this island. But there is one thing of utmost importance that this crew must discover. You must uncover, destroy, or control the source of magic in these islands. You are not allowed to return to Akensia without this knowledge. Signed, King Jacob Rex the Third, co-signed, Carnegie Roosevelt the Second. P.S. 
Rumor has it, the university country of Windfjord has interests in these islands as well. As Windfjord and Akentia have a complicated relationship, I would advise caution should you discover any members of Windfjord's many universities. Hmm. Well, says Helmsworth. <laughs> who, 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 who signed it? Uh, King Jacob Rex the Third and Carnegie Roosevelt the Second. Windhelm, huh? Windfjord, looks like. Windfjord. Not Windfjord. Windhelm. Yes. Not Windhelm, that's Skyrim. I'm playing that on my <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if it was Windhelm, you're bringing Skyrim into it. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't like cease and desist letters. Do we know? Uh, like, do any of us know about forward. the university? Uh, so Satine, you are you are familiar with Winfjord, the university country as it is known. It is a country whose government is entirely comprised of university sectors. So, like the the poli sci kids run the foreign affairs, the engineers run all, are, control all of the all, all sorts of factories and production and research um archaeology every everything that is every single thing that is a business is also a university it is a it is kind of a powerhouse in the world it is so one of the most educated countries in this world they are dangerous, academia incorporated they are also, huh is it academia incorporated it is like? academia incorporated <laughs> if you've ever been to school for anything this is what happens when academia becomes privatized to the max. So, uh, they are a very seclusive country as well. Bunny, you have no idea what this is. Uh, yeah. Dorg, you've traveled there <laughs> once on a trip uh, with, with someone special to you. Uh, but you did not like it. As you said, the food was terrible. Piggly. Uh, you have also it have was no idea terrible. What this is. It was too much green. <laughs> Piggly, you you don't know what this is either, but I I feel like you think it would sound nice. <laughs> it does sound nice. Maybe the people who signed it know where Popley is. Ooh. Oh. Guys, no matter what we do, we're finding <laughs> Popley. Okay? We're gonna <laughs> find Popley. Popley. I'm commandeering this go, quest oh. for my own. <laughs> Finnegan looks at you all and says, Well, that was not uh, expected. I was expecting this to be a short trip. Well, it looks like we're stuck. We have to solve this entire uh, island archipelago. Great. Oh, he's like, dear me. Well, at least we oh. have our health. <laughs> what did I? Sorry, I'm not as the one who wasn't. No thanks to crap. no thanks to me. I might add. That's a I want to ask Finnegan. I was like, did you not know this is what we were supposed to do? No. I was sent here with the letter. Was told, given coordinates. Told there was an island of magic and wonder. Told to explore and was given this letter to open upon arriving at the island. Were you bribed? <laughs> I wish, Bunny. I wish. I think this is more of a... I think this is more of a orders are orders kind of thing, Bunny. Dork, what was that? Cost of bribes is far too high lately. We wish we were. Mm -hmm. I could do with a bribe. I was bribed once. It was quite nice. It set me up for weeks. Uh, Here, you can. Ha I have some gold. You can have it. I give him five gold. He <laughs> <laughs> just looks at you. He just, he just says, "Keep your damn gold, kid. You're gonna need it." Oh, like, okay. What is that saying that they? What is that saying that they say in the military? Orders are orders and whatnot. Ah. Uh, I, I believe we say a drink's a drink around here. Ain't that right, Dork? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, buddy. Um, upon s Bunny, roll a perception check for me. Okay. Miss Bun Bun. Bun 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 Bun. That's your nickname for her now. I'm calling her Miss Bun Bun. No one else called her. That's fine. 17. 
17. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bunny, uh, as you're looking around, just like out of the corner of your vision, you see a strange creature that looks to be kind of dark blue and covered in a carapace. And it seems to be, it seems to be on looking vaguely humanoid, but it is kind of in the dark. It looks to be spying on you. Mambe? Senpai? Mambe, Sugoi! Sugoi, Mambe! Um, so, guys? Uh, yes, Miss Bon Bon? W- um, look! <laughs> Over ah! here! <laughs> what is it? Um, I don't know, but it, it looks like it's cu- uh, I don't have words for this. Help! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna slowly walk towards it. I mean, Non-threateningly. I'm gonna, threateningly, s- just I'm like gonna like... go stand in front of Bunny, because she Yay. seems stressed out. Uh, can we see what she's looking at? Yes, you guys can. It is It is now like kind of, it's like, it's like hiding behind the tree. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise my arms up and be like, hi. <laughs> Ellsworth, the point of staff. You there, explain okay, yourself. No. Uh, shh, don't threaten the, might be dangerous thing. He's, or, he's already hi. going, he's already walking towards How it. How are yeah. you? Hello. Oh, that's not a sound I understand. <laughs> uh, hi. How are you? Hello. <laughs> Hello? Uh, <laughs> greetings. Hello. Hattie. Oh. Pig- Piggly, why don't you introduce yourself? Piggly's not threatening. I just shove Piggly. I'm like, go on, smash! <laughs> no! in, I, in, was, in, I, was, I was already walking towards it. I will say, I will say that I did say uh, that. But as you guys say that, this little, it looks like a a, a lobster with two legs, as it as it begins. Larry? Larry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Larry, but like not swole, like uh-huh. very like small, like crustacean humanoid creature hello uh, hello i i'm one of the locals here hi hello Addy. do you know popley okay popley <laughs> <Poppy>. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He said it. Listen. You're drinking Perfect a bell. comic timing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I'm just gonna be like, do you? What's your name? Uh, I I don't have a name you can pronounce. Give me a shot. <laughs> Oh, so I'm hearing like that. Wrong infection. I'm so sorry. I'm just learning. I'm a level one. Wait, hold on. Can I? Can I try? Can I try with my? Can I try to get proper pronunciation to this name? (laughs) Go for it. (laughs) No, no. I'll say his name. (laughs) (laughs) We're all gonna just go around in a circle. I I was asking if, like, is there a way for me to roll for whether or not I pronounce it correctly? Performance at disadvantage minus five. Minus five, huh? Yes. That's rough. Yeah, uh, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, he I goes, call, make up a name for me that you can pronounce. You may call me whatever. Larry. You I'll call you Perry. Perry. Larry. Perry. Larry. Perry. Larry. Well, let's split the difference. It's Plary. <laughs> I like Plary. Yeah. Plary. Hi, Plary. Hi, Plary. Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary. Gary. No, it's Plary. Uh, Plary, Gary. Our new friend is the most important thing we'll call him. Do you right? want to come with us? We're going to explore the island. I. 
Oh, oh Pigley, this is his island. Maybe Plary knows well, the island. He exactly, it. he can tell us where to go. We're supposed to find. What are we supposed to find? No, no, okay, Pigley, Pigley, shh, shh, and we have to like shh, find. Pigley, no, Pigley, no. <laughs> Harbinger foretold your arrival. Oh, oh that's I nice of him. Mighty Harbinger, to lead you to the rusty <laughs> lobster. The rusty lobster. The rusty lobster. Hey guys, let's go to rusty lobster. I'm just all over. I can't wait to have some cheddar scallion biscuits. It is owned by one like you. Oh, all right. Here. I'm. I'm gonna turn to Piggly and go. Poppy might be there. Wait, one like me, and I like point us? to myself, or one like him, and I point to Dorg. Uh, he, he goes, he he he, he takes his claw and goes, uh, different from you, but like you, not like me. So he's different from everybody. His body different. Yeah. <laughs> he's hitting different. He's different. Hitting different. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm dog. Do you want a drink? Always. All right, let's go. And I'm gonna walk. Uh, he turns over and he looks. He looks over at the at the ship, and he goes, uh, "I will have someone get to repairing your ship once we make it to the bar." I have that would be love. Bar. Thank you. You got contractors out here? That's pretty sweet. His head's really nice. Did, 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 I really did, did, did he say bar? He did yeah, say bar. bar. He said he said bar. He said bar. What are you thinking? You a spirits? Borg likes this one. All right. Uh, so, the Plary makes his way. <laughs> uh, he starts leading you guys through the forest. Um, there is no designated track, but Plary seems to know his way around. Oh, uh, buddy, I, make... can I can I sit? Wait, can I do something real quick? Go for it. Yeah, because uh, as as a uh, player leads him away, uh, Hubble wants to hang back just a little bit because uh, I want to see uh, because if they're looking for a magic thing that's causing this, uh, Hellsworth is going to hold his hand over his heart and see if he can resonate with the thing's energy so that he can see in what direction it might be if he can do that. Um, it doesn't seem to do anything at this moment. Can I, can I roll an insight check to see if, like, Clary is, like, a good dude? Yes, you may. Roll an insight check. Wait, which one? There it is. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, insight, insight, insight. Just so you know... Uh, Piggly is never gonna roll insight on anyone. He just trusts people. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear that? No. The neck again? I, it went off. I <laughs> it was not listening. Okay. Um, what are you doing to your neck every day? I don't know, Marcus. Are you tense? I am. <laughs> um, 15 plus insight is plus 6, so 21. Uh, so... You look at Plary. Plary is, even though he is a lobster, Plary is definitely trying his best to lead you guys safely. Okay. Um. And as you guys uh, look around, uh, could you make a perception check, please? For you, of course. Thank you. <laughs> perception. Not for Plary, but for uh, Helmsworth. You may do this at advantage. Twenty-one. Wait, what? Wait, what am I doing at advantage? I didn't quite Perception. Hear that. Perception check. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Twenty-one. Uh, Nineteen. Twenty-three. Nineteen. Uh, bunny. Eleven. All right, Pigley. Eleven. All right. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, twenty. Twenty-one. All right. Everyone who rolled above a fifteen. As you look, as you're looking around and through the forest, you no, you notice lots of, you notice that the underbrush is quite thick, and there's lots of 
trees and then brushes and there's lots of little cre critters and creatures running around. Um, everyone who rolled above a, a 20, you notice deep on the underbrush, you notice a very large undulating cre slithering creature. It doesn't seem interested in you, but it is there. Um, after a while of walking, you make it. <laughs> you see strangely jutting out in the middle of this massive island paradise, if it wasn't so dangerous. You see the rusty lobster, written in common. It is a... It, it looks like a massive ship that has been shipwrecked here, outfitted into a sort of establishment. And it seems like it is full of people. Drinks for everyone! Oh, God! Yay. You guys arrive inside the rusty lobster. <laughs> and as you guys enter, everybody turns to look at you. And they're saying... <laughs> 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 <It's a toy. laughs> I'm just gonna... Just shout, gonna... What are you looking at? And everyone just... <laughs> everyone goes back to their business and is like, Oh, I guess. Are there any gnomes? Uh... You know, as this happens, Piggly, you notice a very familiar face. She steps down and a face that looks quite similar to one that you have known your whole life. She looks at all of you and says, who the hell are all of you? I was waiting for that. I'm the owner of this house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask her what I, what, I want to go really close and just kind of stare at her face. Yeah. I don't rec do I recognize her? Oh. This be Popley. <gasps> be Popley the gnome. This is Popley the gnome. Popley! I can't believe the, <laughs> can't believe the meme ended after one episode. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, upon I... you saying Popley, though, the face quickly changes. Uh, and goes, gotcha! <laughs> and changes into, um, a changeling. Oh! I had, I I had Larry and... do a, I had Larry do a thing there. He, uh, he prides your mind. He can do that found a face that you really wanted to find uh transformed into what do you guys think was that funny i punch <laughs> <laughs> uh, i play i play battle music while he punched i'm ex i got extremely close and was very scared when it switched uh, roll, hold roll a bitch attack. while piggly punches <laughs> roll attack <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> oh! Piggly, you're like... I'm very startled. You're like, ah! And you punch Dorg in the nuts. <laughs> That's twice! That's twice in one game! That's a rough day for Dorg. Uh, what do you have against my testicles? Sorry! You mustn't uh, procreate. Uh, <laughs> Can I? I. So wait. So sorry. Question. Plary like look like search through our minds. Uh yes. All of ours. Uh. Do we know this? No. Uh, then he is aware of my. No 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 but no. Just. But a uh, changeling dude was like ha ha ha. So we we know right. Uh. He we know he switched. We don't for, know we he seems going. to search very specifically for faces that you're looking for. Okay. Seems as though he has the, at least it doesn't seem like he got anything that was uh, that was like, very specific. He just seemed to be able to look like, vaguely see faces that you're looking for, and he That's telepathically so connected to this. Have channel. I recovered from my from my <laughs> ear castration? Uh, yes, you have. You have like you're you're like, oh. Oh. I grab it by the throat and I lift it off its feet. As you do that, everyone in the bar like stands up and draws weapons and is like, "You put down." You see a massive giant stand up, which 
sponsored by myself. That's such a really <laughs> nice t-shirt, Offy. <laughs> Where can you get that t-shirt? Offy.com. Uh, well, as, as he stands up, this hulking giant picks up, picks up a club and goes, "You're gonna want to put down the owner of this bar before I put you in a coffin." Put him down, dog. Put wow. him down. He's taller put him than Satine. Put him down, dog. <laughs> put him down. Put him down. Uh, the cha- the changeling goes, oh, wow, okay, okay, oh, okay. I didn't realize that was, I thought it would be fun. Okay, hi. Hi. Uh, Hello. Uh, <clears throat> you, can, you, you can call me Desmond. I own this, the Rusty Lobster. That's my friend. Uh, <laughs> um... Oh man, how was that, Plary? Plary goes like, uh, yeah, I own I own this establishment. Um, Harbinger told me we were in need due time for some new heroes. Thanks for coming. Ah, uh, this is great. So, what are you guys here for? Heroes, right? Gonna save right. us. Gonna save us from how, the, the tyranny how about- of the. Of the of the of the Storm King. Oh my God, it's been so long. I'm looking for Popley. I'm trying to find my brother. Oh oh, was that? Did I turn into you? You looked really different for a sec. In my, I think my glasses just fogged up. It startled me. Uh, oh okay. Wow. You tried to trick my little tiny friend. Oh, I... we all talk about this over some drinks. Oh think... yeah. Yeah. Can I have a Commonwealth? <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, there we are. The guy he looks at you and says, "Can I? I, I don't know what that is. Ingredients? Uh, do you, do you uh, Seventeen that? ingredients. One. Seventeen ingredients. I'm with Seventeen one. <laughs> How about a water? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> with some lemon. Uh, you uh, what would you? Uh, he go. He goes up to you and says, "Ah, here, I'll get you guys drinks on the house. What would you all like?" I'll take a water. Dork. The strongest thing you have, and also one for Satine. Oh, okay. Uh, Bunny. Um, can I have the drink that has the most ingredients that you have? <laughs> he looks at the Please? back room and says, "I'll I'll figure something out." Helmsworth. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say that Helmsworth has already been trying to integrate himself to whatever gambling is going on here, so he's not quite <laughs> present. He's no longer <laughs> present. Uh, he, he tr- uh, this, uh, Desmond looks to find, and he, and he just he tries to point where Helmsworth would be, but sees he's instead at the roulette table. Uh, Pig, he, and he turns to you, Pigling goes, "What would you like?" Uh, do you have any suggestions? Uh... We we have we have some lemon some lemonade. Would you like? Oh, that? I love I like lemonade. Yeah. Does it have alcohol in it? Would you like it to? I mean, it <laughs> spices up life. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he 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 chuckles, gives you a little a little like pat in the head, and he goes and gets your drinks. Out of all, he comes back, places it down all at your table, and goes so. Um. His face is kind of hard to place. He seems to always be changing into your face as he's looking at you. It's very disorienting. Um, uh, he, go, he looks at all you and goes, okay. Um, so, uh, hi. Uh, Bunny, you take your take a taste of your drink. Um, how does it taste? Horrible. Uh, <laughs> it's got... <laughs> So sour. Uh, upon seeing your face, he slides you a None water. None of the flavors of match up. <laughs> he slides you a water and goes, take a, here you go. Okay, thanks. Uh, and he goes, all right, so Harbinger told me that you five were the new heroes, right? Is that correct? Of course, maybe sailors, but not heroes, but sure. New? New heroes? New? They were old heroes? Where'd they go? What happened? Uh, yeah, um, every once in a while we get, um, a crew like yourself, they all show up and, uh, we tell them about what's going on with the storm and what's going on and how we're trapped here and, uh, uh, they, they venture out and we never hear from them again and the storm never ceases. How many crews have gone, come through here? Uh, Plary, how many crews? 
Flurry comes over and uh, thinks carefully to himself. Uh, roughly. Forty, forty-five. A few. All under different flags. All claim to be heroes. Have any from Industria come? Or uh, Akantia? Uh, I can't seem to remember. Oh, uh, well, if we just don't, we just, let's just not claim to be heroes and then we'll be the only yeah. ones that have ever tried this. Just call us, um, a good friends. <laughs> Idiots. Uh, Des Desmond looks Unwilling on. acquirers of goods. <laughs> uh, well, you're certainly the most... Uh, interesting group we've ever had. Um, hey, well, we got uh, one of their cherries. Look, if you guys are, how about this? Look, we're in a bad shape on this island. There are several islands, actually. We're all we're all, we're all, we're screwed. We've been trapped here for a long time. We're we're trying. We're a little bit overpopulated. We're running out of resources. We can't leave. The, uh... The storm blocks us. Harbinger allows people in, but he can't... He can't bargain with the storm god to let us out. We have, People have tried, but no, we, we always just end up seeing them wash on shore dead. You guys need to find out how to quell the storm god. I, I'm desperate. This is the only. Uh, this is the only solid solace that uh that these people have is this bar that I run with old ingredients that I scramble off of ships that wash ashore here. That makes more sense. We're out of. We're running out of time. We really need your help. So, well, how, where do we start? Is there a reward? Uh, De <laughs> Desmond <laughs> looks to looks to you, Dork, and he says, "Well, uh, I can potentially slide some currency your way, but uh, I hold ten gold pieces up to Dork. Ooh, shiny! <laughs> there you go. I'm kidding. Do you want to say thing that's gonna work? I want a reward." <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he goes uh, I may be stupid but I'm also dumb <laughs> <laughs> Desmond uh, Desmond uh, looks back uh, to it looks back at his bar and he's he signals to he signals to, to the guys currently manning the bar he's like uh, the guy comes forward and he go and he, and he and he places some weapons in front of you and they have sockets on them for charred stones he places um, a great sword, a short sword, um, a dagger, an arcane focus, and a, ma a, a, a great big orb, like a, like a magical orb. He goes, I can offer these. What do you say? In, I'm in. I'm so in. <laughs> I say, I can I, I can I take one? Uh, as you try to reach for one, he like kind of like after. After. Can I hold up? Can I hold up the charge down? Be like, how about now? He looks at it and goes, "What is that?" It. It. Do you? We'll stop with this later and I put it back in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Helm, the as this is happening, is Helmsworth. The are probably worth more than the charge stones are. <laughs> Helmsworth, roll two D100s, please. Um, I am going to say that I do have a background feature called Never Tell Me the Odds. During downtime, if there's either involved games of chance or figuring odds on the best plan, I can get a solid sense of which choice is likely to be the best one and which opportunities seem good to be true at DM's determination. All right, D one hundred. Cool. Alrighty, let's do it. 
55. You manage to, against all odds, roll on the roulette table and you win big. You win a hundred gold. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Helmsworth comes back with all the gold, places it on the desk. Desmond looks to you guys and says, All right. Well, I can see you robbed my patrons blind. Great. I give you three bounties to go on, to complete. Complete them at your, at your order. We need you to explore a temple. We've tried going in there to see. We, we know it has something to do with the storm god, but all of our entrances results in death. And I'm done sending people to go there. We need right, you yes. to also Please send us to go. <laughs> we need you to also We also are gonna need you to rescue some, some lost folk. They wandered out of the bar a few nights a few weeks ago and uh hopefully they're alive. I really hope they are. Um and we're gonna need you also to kill uh a snake. Okay. Killing the Oh, uh, temple. No, that's uh, you mean the snake that we. You mean the snake that was by, by went by us on the way here. You guys saw a snake? <laughs> yeah, we saw a snake. Oh. He didn't want to say anything. Yeah. What did it look like? Oh, uh, not very. Yeah. It was. It was fine. It was just like it was neutral. <laughs> it was had an big. intact it didn't seem like it had anything to do with us. I didn't say anything because it didn't seem like an issue. That snake so, has been. to uh, go over this. That snake has been. Uh, it's it's been fine for now, but it seems to be growing in territory. If you catch my drift, and I don't want it uh, to eat the store. Land snake. That's a big snake. So um. Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> <laughs> no one gets to mark their territory while I'm here. Uh, uh, he goes, but you know what? More on that tomorrow. You you all look right. tired. Um, here, take this. It's a master room key. Rest up. Tomorrow, our heroes, uh, friends, are here. Yeah, massive room slumber party. <laughs> uh, and... I sing a jolly sea shanty. <laughs> I'll take the key. While I was gambling with the other patrons, was I able to gain any information as to like if they'd seen Tiki at all? No, sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, buddy. But what does happen as, the uh, club. as Dork starts singing his sea chanty on his way off to bed, some other patrons know the tune, catch the catch the tune, and just all quietly sing to themselves. And the gentle sounds of a sea shanty all bring you guys into your long rest. And that is where we shall end today's session. Thank hey. you guys so much for watching. If you liked this, Please remember to follow this so you can catch next week's stream. Uh, once again, Monday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern till 11 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and if you and if you were a friend who wanted to watch this episode missed it, that's okay. You can always tune in on my YouTube channel uh, when I post these. I usually will be posting these a day after or, uh, or the following day to my YouTube channel for you guys to watch, consume, and enjoy. I am Offbeat Outlaw, the Dungeon Master. Uh, everyone stick around till the end of the stream. I want to rate someone with all of you. Last time we rated someone, it was hilarious. I just do this because I like seeing my friends, like, Ugh! so please, it'll be funny. Do it for the funny. Uh, I'll pass this off to Ballad Boy. Sign out. Say who you were and where they can find you. Um, um, I'm... This has been Helmsworth Free signing off. Uh, if you want to see me, Ballad Boy, join the Discord. Uh, also, make sure to read the rules, though. Uh, and uh, make sure you, you read that channel that I handcraftingly made to make sure that everybody knows what channels do what. A lot of people don't. But if you do, you, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of fun spaces there. And uh, we, we can all have a good time. All right. Uh, Caroline Smash. I play Bunny. Um, you can find me anywhere with well, in two places. <laughs> can, anywhere, two places. You can find me on the Insta Garmin, Caroline Smash, or you can find me on TikTok, Caroline Smash. Thank you. That's all. Uh, Mash Budson. Uh, I play Piggly. Uh, I'm Mash Budson. You can find me on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. 
and that's it. <laughs> uh, Marcus Territory? Yes, I've been Marcus Territory as Dorg. Thank you guys so much. This is so much fun. You can find me on TikTok at Marcus Territory. Same thing on the Instagram. And also, massive thanks to our hardest working fucking man in the room tonight, Offbeat Outlaw. You are fantastic. Hey. Always. Thank yous in the chat, please. Thank yous in chat, guys. All of them. Uh, and Liz. Hey y'all, it's Liz. I was a teen. Um, I'm at Laws Clause everywhere except Twitter, where I'm at Laws Clause One. Um, thank you so much to everyone for watching. Thank you, Offie, for being the best human ever for doing this, taking the time to do this. And also, guys, just remember be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, take care of each other. And I'll see you next Monday. Mm -hmm. Everybody, we are going to be raiding the Bard Community College like last week. They are such great people, they deserve it, they work so hard. Everybody, pile in. I want you guys to bombard them with more of the fireballs. I want to see so many fireballs. I want you to block out the sun with fireballs. I want to see more people in there. I want to see at least 250 people raiding. Come on, get those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Rookie go, numbers, go, I say. Go, 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 Five, four, three, two, one. Bye. Grab.